on. Uh huh. I got something yeah. on the screen here saying that recording is in progress. <laughs> here comes Peggy. Did everyone else get that? Yeah, you knew that though. We all knew that. I We're all knew saying. that was coming. I did. Yes, I did know that was coming. Uh, what's yeah. fishy about the paranormal challenge? You used to get a million dollars, and now it's half. Everything else costs twice as much as it used to. Why is that going the other direction? <laughs> I don't know. And I'm about to put in the challenge. So in order to know the future, I, information has to travel back in time. Therefore, it's deflation. <laughs> I have go. I have discovered I have a superpower. I Ooh, think it only oh works in Oregon. It's my second <laughs> superpower. Okay. Um, but if I go outside. I just step outside to like work. I can make it rain. <laughs> <laughs> it only works in in oh, Oregon. Oregon. Uh, Caspian says he's not. Uh, I don't. I it didn't have. It didn't work in California. I just sent it to you guys. Oh, well, yeah. we would love to have you travel the world to places that need rain. <laughs> you know, you wonder about those people who say they if they say they can make rain. Well, yeah, you know, you can make a fortune off of that traveling to places or. Just be a humanitarian. <laughs> See, yeah. we could do it, and, I, and I've like always wanted rain, to travel. So yeah, get paid, get, get paid to not go to resort. Areas. Right, because you could ruin somebody's wedding or an event by having rain come, and you say, "I'm going to." Would be pretty don't, bad if that rain showed up on your don't wedding. Say day. that to me this so, uh, year. We, we have to do a test. Uh, we have to. We have to I don't, don't want it to rain on the wedding. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there was a, uh, a go. Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> there was, have you ever have you wa ever watched the Astronomy Cast podcast? Uh, every so often, Pamela Gay, who's, who who is one of the co uh, people on there, uh, complains about where wherever she goes for an eclipse, it clouds over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's her special power. Oh, oh. She can stay Adams. away from my house. My, my special powers. I guess. Wait, wait, Bob's trying to talk, you guys. What, Bob? Thank you. It was a Douglas Adam character called the Rain Guy, the truck driver. Yeah. And it, everywhere he went, it was raining, and he kept a log. And then somebody figured out, well, go on, you know, let somebody know. So he made money staying away from places, you know, they're yeah. Yeah. having events. I was thinking of that too. And and he had, he he was a rain god, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, they called him. He called him the rain god. Yes. They, they thought the, the, they loved him. Yeah, yeah. The clouds loved him. They just yeah. they wanted to be near him, yeah. which is why it was always raining. Yeah, the guy's he's talking to, he's talking to Arthur persists, Dent. Because it I'm rains every day. Goes, That's ridiculous. It doesn't rain every. It does. It rains every day, no matter where I am. It's raining. <laughs> but he, he made money off of it. Yeah. yeah. I love. I loved him. I, I, oh, he, what a loss. He was so brilliant, that writer. Yeah, I know. Just yeah. brilliant. And it, yeah. just that little piece of information that Bob was talking about, the rain god. They didn't uh, have a to little... do anything with the storyline, but it was so. No, it didn't. And then he shows back up later. To, you know, they check in on him. Oh, yeah, hey, I'm, I'm making money now. So, yeah. I think Peggy is making money with all of the. Leaves that's behind her. <laughs> Hi, it's 420. Uh, that's, yeah. that's a lot back there, Peggy. I She's been busy. Up. That's why we don't see her all the time. Yeah. She's so busy. Yeah. That's under the California limit for personal growth. <laughs> we hope so. Yeah. All right. So let me put you guys in these rooms here real quick. I'm sorry. I was starting. <laughs> I like the. I like the way uh, it, it makes it look like you're uh, you, you're drinking the uh, the leaves. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. We starting off with Carl, then Gail, then Ron. He's in room three, and then Robin will be here. She says she's got a terrific category for us tonight, but she's having some problems with the HOA. She runs or is involved with, and I'm like, no kidding. <laughs> and Deborah's going to be in five. So let me see. This looks good. Oh, I thought I was on this week. No, you are not on this oh, week. I'm on next oh, week. I know. I'm on next week. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even have a category yet. You'd be really embarrassed. If, mm. Oh, yes. Vincent, you're writing all of them tonight. I'm all I'm of them. Yeah. I'm in charge of all of them. 
I'm not that good. <laughs> <laughs> What's in my pocket? Name 10 things. Yeah. <laughs> What's in my, my pocket? There's Gee, uh, I, I, I guess somebody could uh, uh, have a category of the riddles that Gollum and Bilbo asked. You I don't for. think there was 10, though, was there? No, yeah, there's like three or four. There was, oh. there was not 10, no. Oh, and I don't know if I'd remember them completely. I'd know some of them. One was an egg and one was a... Yeah, we have short egg. memories. You could add as question one and nine. We wouldn't remember. Famous <laughs> <laughs> questions from movies. Well, that's true. You know, it's funny because I think to myself, we've done, what, 5,000 questions already, something like that. And I can remember that there that question has been asked before or something about that question has been asked before, but not to a point where... Um, not to a point where I'd remember, hey, look at everybody, who's this? Again. If, if Mark, Night of the Fog Mark. came up again, Hi. I would remember. Hi, Mark. Hello. Oh. So I'm just returning the uh, fo psychic files. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I got to show you guys. I got a problem about that. I got these, uh, the, Unbelievable. the Philadelphia skeptics, they were going to throw out these binders that they had, that the treasurer of this group had done a survey of all the psychics of that uh, 20 years ago. 1990s and early 2000s and he has three binders full of content of the stuff that this, that the psychics would send out it's advertising back in the day when you get it in the mail and it's and i they said would you like me because we're just going to throw it out i'm like no no i'll take it and scan it and, and keep it and maybe you know maybe see if i will want it or something at some point but Mark got these things and he's like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Oh, oh, look, here's Kreskin. Oh my gosh, check out me. He's having so much fun with these binders. I haven't had a chance to look at them myself that much, but he's just loving the advertisements. There's, there's, there's got to be some mail fraud in there. Oh, it's all mail fraud. It's <laughs> all 100% mail fraud. Okay, so let me there's put some you female in. fraud too. Oh, female <laughs> Do you know that fraud. Richard Saunders does the same thing? He scans all that stuff? He sent and he's he's given out to many people these little, uh, you know, the digital archives of that stuff too. Yeah, so I've got that, and I think Kenny has it also, and yeah, and me. And I was going to yeah. say something similar. Yeah. If you're going to scan stuff, Susan, you should make a digital archive. I can help. Ooh. No, we're not. Yeah. I am scanning it. She's experienced <laughs> with digital archive. <laughs> Yes, a bit. Let me put Bill in his room and Zeke. Where did I, oh, yeah. I had a lot of internet trouble, so I was in and out. Okay, let me see. I had I think I had you in a room I was gonna put you in. Hello, Susan. Um, hi, Bill. We're putting you in. You're going in room. Is that where he's gonna get you? Yeah, let's see. Nice. One, two, three. Zeke, you're going there. Okay. Go ahead. Thank you. Us. Okay. And here they all come back, my little minions. No, my little munchkins. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, guys, my little friends. Munchkins. Oh, munchkins. Well, I knew I was short. I didn't think I was that short. I've Zeke's never got, seen Zeke's got her little party. munchkin. You're all the same height here on trivia. Well, that is true. Yeah. You're all the same height. How do we know how tall we are here? The first thing I said to Brandy when I met her in Las Vegas was, oh my gosh. <laughs> You're my height. height. <laughs> and, and Adrian is not. Is Adrian's not, tall? Is tall, yeah. Hi, Sagan. One of the best parts oh. about Psycon was learning everyone's heights. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and that they exactly. all had legs. Yeah, and yeah. that we had legs. Yes. We have a lower we really half. Have legs. <laughs> and right sides of faces. <laughs> well, we've seen you this once in a while, Carl. Not often, but we have seen it. Okay. All right, everybody. So we're getting here. Space show up? I thought I saw. Uh... Yeah, she's there. Oh, there she is. You guys all rearranged on the screens. What is your problem? Come back you in the right order. It, it, blame Chat GBT. <laughs> like, yeah. You gotta blame Thanks, somebody. Obama. Thanks, Obama. Okay, yeah. here we go. So we've got um, a few people are going to join us. Lynn and Paul said so they'll be here in a little bit. Robin's on her way. Deborah's on her way. Where's Paula, has anybody seen Paula in ages? My goodness. Paula. 
Paula, Paula uh, Lauterbach. And where did Aaron Paula disappear Bobala. to? Yeah, Aaron would has booths of like sports stuff and then gone and then. Yeah. And yeah, there's some people here. Troy, I think Troy's not here tonight, probably because of the Danny Masterson trial, because that has been inside. It's about to start. They've just got the jury and wow. And Wendy hasn't been here in ages. Yeah. Yeah, of course, Wendy. Yeah, there's a lot of people. We're going to have to start like pulling them in over here. Okay, so anyway, that's okay. We're here. We've got a good crowd. Yeah, where's Mono? I haven't seen him since last week. <laughs> he I know. Up, he shows up once in a while. Okay, so where are we at? I am at the wrong screen. I want to tell you that Carl is starting out. Gail's second. Ron is third. Robin and Deborah will be here in a little bit, and they are going to be our final end of the round. So let's see what we end up having. I am thinking in my brain what might be happening. The news that might have gotten you guys all excited about some group names, but there's so much going on. Who knows? So team number one, which is Ben, Carl, Kyle, and Vincent, what is your winning team name tonight? I paste it. You can say it, Carl. We have... Ready. 787.5 million reasons to be happy this week. <laughs> wow. And it's only beginning. <laughs> One down, more to go. Okay, Brandy, Carolyn, Gail, and Terry, what is your winning team's name today? The tooth fairy left him $5 million from my pillow. Oh, isn't nice. that great? I saw that to Jay. That was like, oh my gosh, I oh. forgot. There's so many good things that are happening right now. Okay, this is what I missed. <laughs> the five million, the guy who he said, if you can disprove my numbers, oh, the yeah. guy said, oh, I've made five million, million dollars. Somebody said, I've disproved it. And where's my five million dollars? And so oh, the court God. just said, you got to give him five million dollars because he did it. That's great. Okay, Bill. And the best awesome. thing about that is the person who did it was a former Trump supporter who had voted for him twice. Trump. Yeah. And now and knows that the election was not rigged. Um, Bill, Bob, Jamie, Karen, and Ron. Fox News spews fake news. They lose and we're enthused. <laughs> oh, that's going to be a fun Ooh, one. You guys got some good overall, counter. Right? Oh, the team names. Okay. Jane in Oregon. Jim, Kevin, Faith, and Romero. Okay. So here. Don't um, disappoint me uh, now. I'll just copy this into the chat. Prepare for the disappointment. Chat GPT doesn't know or care if what it writes is true. Insert Trump joke here. <laughs> okay, that's not bad. <laughs> okay, and then Adrian, Jane in California, Janine, Peggy, and Zeke. Adrian? I don't know, I just assumed it would be you. Sorry, oh, yeah. I can put it. Yeah, sorry, I've been busy eating my dinner. So we are based on a, a book that Zeke's husband is reading. We are the frantic feminist firecrackers. Okay, that's uh, what we had husband. that team. Tom, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> frantic feminist firecrackers. What's the name of the book, Zeke? It's completely unrelated. It's about the death of John. <laughs> John Kennedy. Um, oh. It's just it, it referred to a frantic feminine wigwag. If you can picture oh. what that might be. Okay. Very good. And I, I need to let you know that that Chat GG Chat GPT will be getting Robin, and frantic feminist firecrackers will be getting Deborah, because they're just not here yet. And then Paul and Lynn should be here. So. You guys, whoever's got the lowest score at the end of the first round will get this. <laughs> so keep that in mind. We're going to be um, starting. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I, I have to do this routine, right? If we don't, you guys get all sad and it's just not right. The world will come to an end if I don't read all, all your names and so on. Game number 157, season three, episode 48. And this is... April 20th, 2023, we have five teams, five teams, I tell you, that are vying to be the champion of game 157 and take all the bragging rights for a whole week until we have another social trivia game. Tonight, we have the five teams vying against each other are, we have 
seven, um, we have 787.5 million reasons to be happy this week versus the tooth fairy left him 5 million from my pillow <laughs> versus Fox News spews fake views. They lose and we're enthused versus Jat GPT doesn't oh. know or care what it writes is true. Insert Trump joke here. Okay. And then versus frantic feminist firecrackers. Who will be the leader tonight? Who will lead victorious? And we'll spend the next week bragging about their superhuman powers and social trivia. We don't know because we're not psychic. Is it supposed to be chat? It's, it's supposed to be chat. It's oh, okay. Okay. I just got um, a G on the end. This, this, yeah. That's the C Indian version. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's supposed it, to be a C. It comes from China. <laughs> okay, so. The knockoff. We're going to start off with Carl. Carl's already got his powers. So let's see what we end up with with uh, Carl's um, non-lighthouse category. Actors and actresses. Let's be honest. There's probably a theme. It may even be a theme that's been used before. <laughs> clever. You guys are so clever. All right. Um, Adrian, you're in charge. All right, I'm going to mute everyone now. All right. So just a, a minor note. In the first question, there's a piece in parentheses. I haven't verified that the piece in parentheses is true. So don't rely on the part in parentheses uh, for the question. This actress is the first, and I believe only, woman to win both an Oscar and an Emmy for lead best actress performances in the same year. Number two, this actress was born Joe R. Tejada on September 5th, 1940 and died recently on February 15, 2023. She starred along Bill Cosby and Harvey Keitel in the 1976 comedy film, Mother, Jugs and Speed. She also starred in the 1966 American science fiction adventure film directed by Richard Fleischer. Number three, this Canadian actor is an alumnus of Second City Television, SCTV. He played Dr. Walter Kornbluff in the 1984 film Splash. Number four, this actress is the goddaughter of filmmaker Steven Spielberg, and she played Sugar in the 1995, 1995 film Batman Forever. Number five, this actor played the war doctor in Doctor Who and a vampire Nikola Tesla in the 2013 Jim Jarmusch film, Only Lovers Left Alive. He also had a very brief reprisal of a character he played in the 1979 film in the 1987 film, Spaceballs. Number six, this actor starred, co-starred in the Lawrence Kasdan films Body Heat of 1980, The Big Chill of 1983, and The Accidental Tourist of 1983. All right, this is a long one, copy, paste. The jockstrap worn by this actor in the 2000 film Cinderella Man was bought at auction for $7,000 by the HBO TV show Last Week Tonight with John Oliver, who in turn donated it to Alaska's last operating blockbuster video store. As a thank you, the actor donated the money to the Australia Zoo, which used it to fund the John Oliver Koala Chlamydia Award. Number eight. In 1987, at the age of 13, this actor starred in the Steven Spielberg film Empire of the Sun. He also became known for a July 2008 lengthy onset profanity filled tirade directed at a cinematographer when a recording of it was released in February 2009. Number nine. This actor was once married to Mimi Rogers, who introduced him to his current religion. And number 10. This actor is an outspoken advocate of the law of attraction. 
In an interview with Oprah Winfrey on 17 February 1997, he revealed that as a struggling actor, he visualized the $10 million check given to him for acting services rendered. And then seven years later, he received a $10 million check for his role in a 1994 film co-starring Jeff Daniels. Explain that, skeptics. And there we go. So, for number 10, is the question that we have to explain it, or do we need to know who the actor is? No. Um, if you can give an adequate, no, you have to name the actor. <laughs> okay. Okay, I just want to put on the record here, I know the theme. Uh-huh, okay. We'll see. Okay. Everybody in the rooms that are supposed to be in the rooms? All right, I'm going to room one. What Susan says. Oh, apparently she can't tell you that. <laughs> Let's see if she really knows or if she's lying. Oh, I don't know. I only know the answer to one, but I know what the theme is. What's the theme? Scientology. Okay. No. And I'll tell you why. Because I know number nine is Tom Cruise. No, yes. because we know what the answer to number three is, and none of them are in Scientology. I don't well, think they might John have been a Scientologist, but maybe. No. Well, what is number three? I don't, I don't think Christian Bale is a Scientologist either. I'll bring this back. Okay. What's three? Three is. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> I know his face. I just. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's great. Great. Three. You uh, talked it. You talked a big game, Vincent. And yeah, yeah. You said through. you had three, and now he's all of a sudden forgotten. Um, damn. All right. So, While he remembers that, who else knows some stuff here? Uh, I answered five, seven. Yeah, that was the only one. Hey, what did you say? Five ten. was John Hurt. Uh, John Hurt. Who's that? The war you doctor. John Hurt is. Uh. You need to watch some Doctor Who. Uh, and he's been in like. I never know any things. of these things. I swear he's not in Spaceballs, but let's just run with it. John Hurt was in space. No, he wasn't in Spaceballs. Exactly. I don't believe that for a second. Oh, no, he was not. No. But he is the war doctor. So let's go. He with is that. the war doctor. So here's the question. If we already know who it is, can we look it up and verify whether or not he was in there? <laughs> uh, I don't think so. Okay. So we um, know for sure John Hurt, Russell Crowe, Kristen Bale, and Tom Cruise are. Correct answers, correct? Oh, and Jim Carrey? Yeah, Jim Carrey. He was also a nutter. He's he was in, for a long yeah. time in the, um into um anti vaccine stuff. Anti vax, yeah. Thimerosal in particular. Jim is, is an alumnus. Seven, I don't know. I'll trust that that's right, but I do know that koalas have a big problem with chlamydia. Yeah, well, he was yeah, he, he it, was the, it was the it was the Russell Crowe was the boxer. Cinderella Man, I think, was the movie. Sure. I may be wrong on that, but yeah, I'm, I'm almost positive it's Russell Crowe. Because I watched that episode of John Oliver. Okay, so can you, think of any, can you think of any reason that these people would have in common, which will give us our theme if it's not Scientology? John Candy. Oh. Is that three? Duh. Yeah. Uh, three, John three. Hurt was, of course, in Spaceballs because he was reprising the scene that he had in Alien where the oh, here comes Leonard. busted out of his chest. Here's Leonard. Oh, right. Yes. Remember? And he had the special. And so then yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, Lone yeah. Star and and yeah. and, uh, and, his, and his dog. Uh, I got to rewatch it. Yeah, you got it. Because that was I think it was a. It was like a just a kind of a bookend scene, not like an after credit scene like we see now, but it was a just an extra scene they threw in at the very end of the movie. But these people have something like in common with their names. They're all like their aliases. But well, Carl loves to do the whole this person does this action, you know, on on his uh, names. But I mean, you could say John Hurts. You can say I don't know if you would say Russell Crowe's. And Christian Bales, you know, like you bail Tom hay Cruises. or whatever. Tom John, Cruises. John what? With Jim Carrey? Does Jim he ca carries? he carry something? I mean, it's or, not the right spelling. And John but... Candy's. John... Well, John Candy wasn't one of the answers. He was just with, unless 
Oh, one, I thought three, you said John three, Candy is the answer to three. John Candy is the answer to Oh, is that what you three. came up with it? Oh, okay. So it's the Canadian. Eve I missed when you said. Yeah, he only can answer Canadian trying. answers. That's why Vincent's in charge of the Canadian. Uh, how is it? How do you spell his last name? Andy. I think it's just the regular way. Can't C A N D Y. Yeah, Candy. Why did I put care? I don't. I was thinking of two different names at the same time. Yeah. C A N D I okay. for a stripper, but Y for right. him. <laughs> Another thing you just knowledge that you have, Kyle. <laughs> Video with koalas and strippers are named Candy with an I. Just. Your wealth of knowledge. So who the heck played Sugar in Batman Forever? God, that was a terrible movie, and I can't remember who the heck that was. I don't remember Darn the you, character Carl. named Sugar. What was it? I barely, I don't know. I could barely remember that movie, yeah, but at least it was wasn't as bad one. as Batman Okay, it's not Robin. Scientology, Carl. Terrible. I, I thought between the two clues in number four, it wouldn't be that hard. I can't remember who the heck Steven Spielberg. Spielberg's goddaughter is. That could be anybody. Uh, I believe wait, come up. I knew who it is. Your Barrymore? Oh, oh yeah, that I've sounds... heard that. Sure, yeah. Okay, that ruins that right. three of the... I think she was in there. Drew Barrymore? Yeah, that sounds right. She is the goddaughter, right? Am I correct on that? That, sounds, I that, that sounds vaguely right. Yeah, I think maybe... Uh, I believe so. Yeah. I know she's old school Hollywood. Well, she's a daughter of a yeah, yeah, his actor. But that that brings the theory of the last name, unless you want to say it's Drew, is what the theme. Yeah, the I others. don't know. I could be wrong on that, but that's just what popped in. It my does head. fit, except for the candy part. The theme could be they all acted opposite one specific person. Yeah, it could be true too. Something like that. So we need we need the answer to one, two, one, six. two, and then six. six. Body That's heat, the big chill, best. the accidental tourist. God, I don't remember. I think I me either. Who died uh, recently? February twenty twenty three. She would have been. Yeah, which one was that 80? one? Forty. Yeah, she'd been eighty three. Yeah, who died recently? Richard Fleischer. I know that name, but he's like a cartoon guy. Bill Cosby. Hard Mother Jugs' speech. An actress that died in February who was in her 80s. Uh, the only other person that I can think of for number three is um, he did uh, Schitt's Creek. Uh, Are you worried John Candy couldn't play a convincing doctor? Yeah, I'm thinking it's it could it. Oh, well, doesn't his name John doesn't fit Candy. with the theme that we're going with? I mean, if if. They all have names that are verbs, right? I mean, that that's one. It could be that, yeah. Yeah, and I'm guessing for four, it would be the first one that she drew something, maybe. I don't know. Because, yeah. yeah, the more I think about it, the more I'm like, I'm pretty sure Drew Barrymore. Yeah. <laughs> Is the goddaughter of Steven Spielberg, and I think she had a small part in Batman Forever. I just can't remember the character Sugar, but I mean, Sugar. Because I'm pretty, I mean, I'm, I mean, uh, positive on all the rest of them that we've gotten so far. So we just need to figure out what one, two, and six. Come on, we need it. I want to get a perfect 10 this round. Yeah. Um, both let's, an let's, Oscar let's and go an back Emmy. to one. Who, who's the first that win both an Oscar and an Emmy? in the same year because again anyone we can think of egot winners but you know they wouldn't necessarily all be in the same year either so i keep wanting to think dame she was a dame judy dench yes judy dench what did she win what was her uh emmy for a tv show do you know Can somebody dench? Is uh, dench a, a verb? 
or Judy a verb? Well, but John Candy, I mean, I don't know if it's necessarily going to be a verb or we just totally have the thing. I don't want to lock ourselves too much into a theme because okay. when we've yeah. had the theme wrong before, we've completely uh, jinxed ourselves from coming up with the answers to the remaining questions. You're true. Who is, what actress recently died in February in her 80s? I don't know. She starred alongside Bill Cosby and Harvey Keitel. I do not know that. Yeah, I don't know that movie. Film at all. I don't either, though. So that's why I'm trying to. And then to I don't know my 1966. Uh, I, I, need to tell, I need to have a talk guy. with Carl to stop coming up with these old movies. No. We don't want everybody to have a perfect end. So. So, 66 science fiction adventure. I have no idea. Yeah, that's early what, stuff. What, what like science fiction Planet. adventure came out in 66? Uh, so do we think one is Judy Dench or do we just want to put that because we don't have another Judy Dench, we don't have anything right else now. now. Yeah. I don't know if that's how you spell uh, his name, but whatever. Yeah. Uh, 1966 movie. Wasn't it that stupid one with uh, Blasters? Um, Buck Rogers? Not Buck Rogers, no. Um, You're talking about Flash Gordon? Not Flash Gordon, no. What year was Flash uh, Gordon? That was probably later. No. Was it in the um, 70s? I can't remember. He, was that even uh, there was a Canadian actor that was in it um, that died f a few years back. Uh, well, so make up questions for another category on your own time. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> well, all, all we have called? left now is two and six and i'm, I'm it was based on either one. actually you know um star wars was actually based on this movie i believe that would be flash gordon not flash well, gordon. yeah i mean there was a lot of lucas no. took inspiration from a lot of stuff he took inspiration from some samurai kurosawa movies right and right other yeah. science fiction movies and this one was oh um plan nine from outer space plan nine yeah yeah well that's um ed wood oh okay not richard fleischer like that's the thing that bugs me i know that name related to cartoons richard fleischer is a cartoon guy oh maybe it was a cartoon He's done a lot of stuff more than you think probably yeah probably yeah. tell us the answer yeah uh, I wish I could. Dang it. I mean, for 66, I feel like it has to be a classic because everything else was garbage. It was like you would think so. a spare carpet was attacking you. That You know, it was that kind of thing. Or it was like a classic sci-fi movie. Yep. Oh, this one was 19... It sounds about right. Sort of a golden era in its own way. But even if that's the movie... We still need to come up with the actress. Oh yeah, 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 that's hopeless. At this having point. the movie by itself uh, is just a stepping stone. Oh, the actress, right? Yeah, all all of these answers are are actors or actresses. We don't need movie names. Does we anything just, the movie name might help us? But does anybody know about the attack of the fifty foot women or whatever that was? Could that be it? Maybe. Who but I'm that? looking is that more at Welsh. Uh, put that down. Raquel Welch. Because sure. again, I'm looking at I'm looking at the the name up here. If they were born this, I don't know how similar their actual name is to that. You know how sometimes yeah. they have a name that's somewhat yeah, could based be on anything. their original name, but yeah, they could be. Especially at that time, like that's mm -hmm. that's too foreign for 1950s America. Yep. Totally true. So she would change her name to Raquel Welch. Could be. Uh, I mean, heck, yeah. that could be the right answer. It wouldn't, yeah. wouldn't be the first time that we've like had educated guesses that totally ended up uh, being right. But I don't know. The only thing we need left now is six. We got to figure out six. Body heat. Uh, the big chill. I know the big chill, but I'm trying I'm to remember who... Who was in the big chill? The accidental tourist. Dang it. 
I remember these movie names, but I can't picture any scenes from them. If I could picture scenes never, from them, then I've I could figure out them. the actor. I was born in 81. I can't help with this. Who the heck was in the you big show? You were born chill? in 81? Wow. Oh, you are so young. There's, Holy there's, there's, there's local television with syndicated movies. Deborah is oh. in room five. 81, so you're what? Seven years younger than me. Ben, you're 50? Um, 40, I was born in 74. 74. So I'm, not, I'm, I'm 48. I'll be 49. 48. Yeah, Ben's two years younger than I am. Yeah, I'll be 49. Wow. Uh, you guys are ancient. August. My God. God, yes. No. I feel I'm like already starting now. to go back in reverse now. <laughs> I, I feel... Uh, my body. I, I'm not used uh, to being the oldest person in a room. Yeah, and his birthday is eight ancient. days after my birthday. I just turned 51. Not we, long. We have frequently celebrated. Oh, you guys shut up already. <laughs> yeah, we usually celebrate our birthdays together. And now that so your close. daughter has also got a birthday. <laughs> yeah, my daughter's birthday is uh, only uh, five days away from mine. Okay, it comes in between us. Yep. We need. We need six. Something for six. Will it put too much of a so pressure on you if I actor. start the two-minute warning? No. Okay. It's it's no. It's maybe yeah, the it's inspiration from. Pressure. Oh wait! It just came to my brain. No. <laughs> uh, the big chill. Who's in the big chill? Come on, we know this. It's somebody famous. It's an ensemble. It's a, a yogurt I mean, place we, in Westwood. Or, That's or we need to really come up with the theme. We got a couple Johns. John Hurt. John Candy. We have not sure about two. He said we might have used this theme before. Uh, People duped by mar multi-level marketing. Yeah. Are they people who have had famous um, parents who were who were actors on the stage? Well, I wouldn't know how to judge, except I know Drew Barrymore is true. Right. So is the theme something to do with their names or other jobs they've had working with other actors? Like like you said, maybe they've been all been in the same film with somebody else. Or location? Are they all from the same area? No, I don't think so. Judy Dench is British, right? Yeah, all films with the same cinematographer. <laughs> that would be really stretching, but that could be. We would. I don't ever that. expect anyone to know who a cinematographer for. So, how film. sure are we on number three? Well, I, that's I going to be know. it because we don't got nothing. I, I'm actually like pretty, pretty sure. I'm. John Candy's sure. not a convincing doctor to me. No disrespect. Yeah, I, I was going to say that. Somebody else to put in his place. I've seen Splash. It's been a while, but I don't remember John Candy being a doctor in that. Uh, I can't remember the. What else have they been Four in? Seconds. Yeah. Uh... Good job, team. That all the character, all the people have played characters with the last name Kovacs in some <laughs> film somewhere. Oh, wow. What? <laughs> what? That they've had the name Kovacs, so it could be like last. Well, I'm name glad it wasn't name. anything obscure. Uh, I'll tell you, that wasn't it. But if that turns well, out to be Chad true, GBT that's what came up with. So it was a rather moving theme. All right, yeah. if, if it all be moving theme, uh -huh. so, I learned. I will. Hi, I, will first, I, I will first paste the answers in as one big long sentence, and then I will paste the individual list of answers. Do, Can do we, we get... change all of our answers so we get Leonard? I was just going to say, if we get Leonard. We get the wrong answers. Uh, we have we have. I've, a I've already been assigned. Oh, so here, so here comes the long sentence. Watch Helen Hunt for deer as you see Raquel Welch on a bet while you observe Eugene Levy a fine as you eye Drew Barrymore oh, treasure. Damn while it. You John Hurt William as you behold William Hurt John while you spy Russell Crowe about his career while you notice Christian bail out a leaking boat as you glimpse Tom Cruise the Caribbean and you finally behold Jim Carrey his luggage. Hey. We were almost <laughs> correct, you guys. We were almost correct. How oh, did we I wish Raquel I would have Welch? remembered that. We are. We were almost correct, right? We said it was 
like their last names had adjectives in them. And yeah, they've verbs, also verbs. played characters that have had the name Kovacs in a character's name. <laughs> I, I find that high. We, got all, we got them all right. And that's yeah, that's true. I think Faith needs a point just for that connection. <laughs> you know, team, my yeah. team, that's Kyla what I'm thinking of. Fantastic, fantastic Voyage, Voyage. Was the film you were trying to think of for Raquel Welch. Yes. Damn but it. at least we got the name right. Yeah. We just came that, up with That's it. a miracle. And Helen Hunt, know, that funny? In, in, as far as I could tell, and I spent like over an hour researching that one question, uh, Helen Hunt, as far as I could tell, is the first and to date only actress to win Best Actress in the same year as an Emmy and an Oscar. What, uh, got it as an Oscar for As Good As It Gets and an Emmy for Mad About You. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, uh, yes. Okay, yeah, I didn't, I did. I thought John, something didn't seem right about John Candy, but I had no clue what the heck the actual answer was. So I guess I need to watch Splash again. <laughs> it's been too long. Eugene Levy, that was the other person. Yeah. And, and I was right, he was on Schitt's Creek. Yeah, yep. John Candy was also yeah. in the film, but he didn't play the doctor. Yeah, he played the best oh, friend. Right. This is so funny because... I can just picture you guys going, do, you know, watching movies or doing stuff like this, going, I'm doing research. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm doing research. You know, just leave me alone. I'm researching this. I'm watching Splash again because I'm doing research. <laughs> I, can see, I can see Carl sitting here trying to figure this out. For the, like, no, no, I must find out. Was there any? <laughs> oh, I yeah. didn't. And I, I'm Kovacs glad to see my team wild. managed to get Raquel Welch without even thinking about the, the name of the movie, Mother, Jugs, and Speed. <laughs> Guess which yeah. one of those she played? It wasn't Mother. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Yes, she so played the character Jugs in, in, in a movie that would never be Watch titled. Watch Hunt season. for Deer as you see Raquel Welch. Okay, so is that, did you come up with this, Carl? Did you write this? Yes. It's very clever. Uh, and, and I, 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 I used an online thesaurus to come up with a word, so, for a different word for observation. So I never used the same observation word twice. It's very clever. You, you, you have another career waiting for you. I don't know what it is, but. <laughs> Trivia master. Yes. Oh, I was going to say, you know, Carl is, um, I've got the new skeptical inquiry has my articles in it. So they send it out a little early. Carl's got several photo credits in this thing. Nice. So I think it was like eight. Mm -hmm. I have at least one, two. I have two, but but it's the article I wrote. So of course it'd be in there. Actually, I have three. I just saw I have Ken Frazier's a picture I took of him. But the picture is so dark that you can't see it. See, with one of Carl's, Harriet Hall. And here's another. Good job, Carl. Nice category. I have a question for Jim and Adrian. They would know what I'm. They would know what I'm asking. Did you receive a message uh, from the UCP today? You're on that mute. No. Yes, I did. Oh. Yeah, I and I got the same one. Okay. Uh, like, yeah. is, like, like, are you talking email or? No, or, I got a no, text. No, message. It was a text. A text yeah. Oh. From Stephen Harper. If you know, he used to be the, You're right. uh, the Prime Minister of Canada. And yeah, a close oh, personal friend. Canada. Oh, and, so have they just, oh, I get it. That Romana from the Queen of Canada has just decided, has been, <laughs> you turned over to her now, right? Right, no. Well, we've got one that's only slightly less loopy than that. Oh. That's in power in our in our province. So, and uh, yeah. oh, Canada. Okay, so let's just score real quick so we can find. Yeah. Oh real no, quick. Leonard has been assigned to a team, right? As, as, as usual, there. If anybody's interested, the trivia round is in a document in the chat for downloading. Got it. Okay, so it's always fun to say the team names for the people who haven't been here. Always fun that way. Okay, so frantic feminist firecrackers. We got seven. seven. Chat GPT doesn't know or care what it writes is true. Insert Trump joke here. <laughs> so that was all ten, as far as I could tell. Yeah. It, Damn. Yeah, yeah I've wow. got some uh, movie knowledgeable people on the same team as me. <laughs> Fox News spews hate views. Wait, wait, I'm gonna see. 
Bucks? Ten. Or not. Woo! <laughs> 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 okay. Fox News spews fake views. They lose and we're enthused. Ten. Okay. My tooth fairy, no, the tooth fairy left him five million for my pillow. Eight. Maybe under his pillow. <laughs> Eight. Eight. Sign the adoption papers and I'll be king of the world. <laughs> All right. So the team that is Carl's team. We have 787.5 billion reasons to be happy this week. Seven. So not uh, bad. 8.4 is your average. <laughs> okay, what Men is trying to say something. <laughs> I hear him fall. <laughs> All right. Let me rename Jane here. I was kicked out. You were never kicked out. We would never kick you out. Well, yeah, Zoom Zoom just went blank on me. Zoom went blank. Yeah. Okay, so Paul and Lynn are joining right now, I think. Okay, so we have seven, eight, ten, ten, and seven. All right, where are we at now? So, Gail, mm -hmm. where are you on the screen? There's Lynn and Paul. Hi, uh, I'm up at the top on my screen, but I don't know where I am on yours. There you are. You guys got here just in time, Paul and Lynn. They're going to be, oh, shoot, what room are we putting them in? Can you guys split between? <laughs> we've got two teams that are both in low uh have the same score the lowest score um i don't know I, i'm pretty pathetic when i'm by myself so i'm not sure i count as She's a person the power what, behind you what, what if you let them what if you let them choose based on the name Ooh, oh that's good okay i know what they're gonna pick though because ah. somebody didn't choose a very clever name uh, but I'm that's gonna, okay. okay. That's okay. Yeah. It's small but mighty. Clever, you know, doesn't always win. Okay. Frantic feminist firecrackers versus we have 787.5 million reasons to be happy this week. <laughs> oh, I think I'm more in the first group. <laughs> the feminist uh, one? Yes. Okay, there's where we're putting you. Good, because the other one. All right, got it. Lynn and Paul. That way I I've Paul already just been, have to su survive us. Yes. Because I've already been Sorry, in the first Paul. <laughs> I've already been in the first group. So this way I'll actually get to see him again when he gets to the last. All right. Yeah. Ready for round two? Yep. Okay, here's our theme. Some random interesting facts about U.S. founding fathers and one mother. Ah. <clears throat> so, you ready, Adrian? Mm -hmm. Question. I'm going to call it founding fathers. Adrian, do you want to mute us all? The one mother is very important. She's she's in charge of the well. She can't have all the babies. <laughs> I think she's away from the keyboard. Do you want to give powers to me? I'll mute people if you want. <laughs> you sound too excited about it. Well, no, I'll mute them. I can do it. It's fine. I'll be more enthusiastic. Okay. Susan, I will definitely mute people for you. Okay, got it. I love this. The guy sends you this tarot card, right? There's no, there's no name on the card. It's not a it's not a standard it's tarot a card. card. Okay. But just a generic kind of card. All right, Gail. It's a made up tarot card. Okay, are we ready? Using your tarot imagery. Yeah. Just a sec. I question. gotta uh, mute people. 
Vincent is the mutant. <laughs> well, I, I am. Don't care if they're muted or not. That is true. I'm gonna have a shower. All right. Take the first one question. muting. But what yeah. significant additional thing did First Ladies Abigail Adams and Barbara Bush have in common? Number two. It was the 50th anniversary of American independence on July 4th, 1826. What spooky coincidence happened on that day? Number three. Which of the famous fathers who had many very successful ideas that were put into practice also had a plan to change the alphabet to eliminate C, J, Q, W, X, and Y, because he found them to be redundant. Okay, question four. Who didn't like the then current custom of wearing powdered wigs? and had his real hair style to look like a wig, complete with being powdered white. I, I can see that being very annoying. Okay. Question five. Vice presidential wife, Lynn Cheney, wrote a biography of which founding father who had two vice presidents die while in office. Who was that president, the founding father president? Question six, who was our tiniest president at five feet, four inches and 100 pounds? What? We know who had the tiniest hands. Hey, no founder. <laughs> Question seven. Would that equate to something else? Which of the founding fathers used the pseudonym Richard Saunders in many of his writings? And Richard Saunders isn't even with us today. I know. <laughs> Him and Maynard say hello. He's doing some stuff with Maynard. Well, you'll have to tell him that he was a, uh, almost an answer. I will. Number eight. What Jewish financier who immigrated to the U.S. from Poland was largely responsible for being an American spy during the revolution and was captured and sentenced to death by the British? He escaped and spent his considerable fortune supporting the American troops. He died in poverty in 1785 at age 44 from tuberculosis. Okay. Question nine. What was the first European country to recognize the US as an independent country? Finally, number 10. What future president who served only one term and was soundly defeated by Andrew Jackson became a US former president who successfully served as a representative in the US House for nine terms? This was after his presidency. He was a strong opponent of Jackson and worked against many Southern interests, including trying to work for the abolishment of slavery and not admitting any new slave state. That's it. Any questions? With apologies to the Canadians. 
They'll get us back one day. Don't worry, Gail. I know they will. <laughs> <laughs> good Lord. We're asking for it. No, this looks good. Very good. Ken. Okay. Okay, let me put Lynn and Paul and Jane in their rooms. Okay, they go to five. Jane in California. Where were you before they kicked you out? Um, oh, you're in five also. Okay. So, okay. So how do I do that? I go down to share screen? screen and yeah. something magical happens? Well, you click on that and it'll give you different options. Oh, and so you can, des desktop? Well, you, you, you can choose the window. Like you want to copy, copy the uh, questions from the chat into some kind of document, like a Google Doc or a Word well, Doc. I did it in Word and it just says, my my choices are desktop, whiteboard. Oh wait, there's another option. Um, it's not giving me Word. Really? Nope. Is your Word is your Word window um oh, minimized? It's probably probably nope. connected. Nope. It's probably not a separate. Okay, just share your whole screen and we'll help you out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, I said yes. Why aren't you letting me? Oh. It's a good okay, point. do you want to do this and so we're not wasting more time? I was just trying to learn something new today. Okay. Let so I think that. I know the answer to number it. one. Okay. What do you got? Um, they were both the wife and mother of a president. Oh, that makes sense. I was thinking it was A, A, and B, B. <laughs> oh, that's a lot. They're alliterative. <laughs> and, and they are both alliterations. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, and that's all I all I have. That's yeah, we know Wait. number seven is has been Franklin. Really? Yeah. Awesome. Okay, I didn't know. That's why I'm doing Yeah, it. number seven is Ben Franklin. And I okay. think so is number three. Wow. Which is annoying. That's, See, that's okay. what I thought, too. I thought it was Franklin for both of those. But again, what do I know? Which one was trying to get rid of the street? Um, the lettered streets in Washington? A good question. But I don't think it has anything to do with it. But that does sound like something Franklin would do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or Jefferson. Mm -hmm. Is number nine France? I think it's France. Because I think they were, you know, when, when she was reading them off, that's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah, that, that makes sense. That makes sense, yeah. The recent you, revolution. What do you think about number two? July 4th, spooky. American of Independence. Oh, oh, two people died on the same day. Um, it was um oh, that's right. Jefferson and yeah, Adam? they both right. Who, who died? Hamilton? Yeah. Jefferson yeah. and um it's not Adams. It was, it was somebody he hated. They just right, right. They didn't like each other, and they were both founding fathers. Yeah. Wasn't yeah? Wasn't Hamilton killed in a duel? Yeah. So it must have been Adams. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, yeah, John Adams and Thomas Jefferson. Okay. And who had enough hair that he could make it look like a wig? Washington. No idea. I don't know. I've never heard this about them wearing a not wearing a wig, but their hair looked like a wig. Me neither. Uh, but man, it was must have been miserable to have that stuff. Oh, absolutely. Jesus, yuck! I wouldn't want to live in that time period. No, neither would I. Not even a person. 
Mm. But I'd love to listen in on what's going on. You have a guess about this one? Well, we can come back. <clears throat> I mean, um, Ben Franklin <coughs> isn't often shown wearing a wig. He's but that not. doesn't fit. That's true. Yeah, but He's that doesn't got... fit. But Washington always looks, his wig looks a little a little less high in pictures, but, I, you know, that's anecdotal. That means yeah. nothing. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Who was the tiniest president? So this wasn't a founding father then, right? It was just. Right. Yeah. Who was 100 pounds? My God, is it possible to be 100 pounds? You got to be really little. As I stuck another caramel in my mouth. <laughs> Wilson, doesn't he look kind of skinny? Um, mm. that, I don't know. Um, God, I wish Cass was here. Um, five four. He's got. It's got to be older. I mean, yeah, in the eighteen hundreds. Yeah, it's got to be older. Yep. And I, I certainly don't know the the heights and weights of the founding fathers. Yeah, it's not Taft. That's all I know. <laughs> not Taft. Yeah, hundred pounds is noticeable. That is a tiny person. Yeah, but it, yeah. back then, in the old days, it's probably one of those Buchanans or something. Garfield. Harry, you're supposed to say back in the old days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine who that would be. Hmm. Are they the good old days? What? No, uh, not days. for women. Who is their tiny? Okay. All right. Jewish financier. Immigrated to the U.S. from Poland. Was that Benedict Arnold? No, I think he was American. Oh, well, I Benedict Arnold was the. Uh, and he didn't support the American troops. Yeah. I, yeah. I knew. Yeah. So, um, I knew. But at that time, it's somebody in that era. Yeah. He escaped and spent his considerable. Uh, American spy. I don't know. Not Paul Revere. Age 44. How awful. Um, yeah. The only, only name that came to mind. Uh, for number eight, uh, doesn't fit because he didn't die young. Um, there's a Polish uh, army guy, Thaddeus Kosciuszko. Oh, gee, uh, I don't think that's yeah. it. Sometimes, yeah, yeah. The, the, the Kosciuszko so Bridge in um, in Brooklyn is named after him. Of course. Um, but he didn't die at 44. He lived to a ripe old age, so... Um, Can't be that. God, and, don't ask, and do not ask me to spell Koshkyushko. <laughs> I like that you could say it though. Yeah, my my father made sure I could. May, uh, maybe this is is a uh, one of those famous. He's a famous financier. Seems like we would know that. John Hancock. I'm not sure. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't know any financiers from the 1700s. Okay. <laughs> well, but he could, be descended. Well he could be descended. He could be like a Getty's Getty. Mr. Stuff. Smithsonian. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Mr. Getty, Vanderbilt. No, they don't. Yeah. Always yeah. But they, they could have changed over time. Number 10. Not a clue. Why is this category harder than the other one? Because it's Gale. it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have better chance on this one than I did the other one. That's for sure. Um, he was an opponent of Jackson. Who did Jackson? Who would? Who did Jackson defeat? Hamilton. Monroe. Garfield. I don't know. It sounds like Hamilton. Yeah. To me, but I don't 
Hamilton, yeah. didn't he serve two terms? Oh, shoot. I don't know. Only served one term, so. Yeah, but he was in the House for nine terms. Worked against slavery. Caspian, can I call? <laughs> so what year was it? Because there was a year where they no longer had slaves come from Europe. When was that? 1780s? No, no, oh, no more from Europe. 17. Not a clue. 50s? I, I just remember there was some, at some point, they, you know, just basically, I mean, they still had slavery, but they were pretty much American born. I, they weren't part of the European, probably because Europe wised up before we did. I don't, I don't remember. Are we going to guess this one? Sure. Or someone have another idea? I'm, I'm down for it. I'm really sad that I don't know these. Me too. Okay. We still need number eight and five and, what was six, the and, five and four. Who had two vice presidents die in office? Gosh, how do we not know that? Because vice presidents aren't important. Was was Hamilton little? I don't know. Yeah, okay. I don't well, not, he I wasn't in the he, he wasn't in the play. <laughs> Wasn't he black in That's the something place? I would say, Leonard. That's like what's something I would say. Hey, Dan. Dan. Dan, we need your help. We need somebody. Damn it, Caspian. Why can't you be here? I know, but he wouldn't be on our team. <laughs> but if he was in the house with me, I could ask him. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, let me think. Lynn Cheney wrote a biography. Had two vice presidents die while in office. Does anyone else find that slightly ironic? Oh, what about Lincoln? Didn't Lincoln have two Wait. vice presidents die in office? One of them was. Um... Sanders was a small man. I don't know if the son was small too. One of them was. Oh, uh, what is the name? Hannibal. Hannibal. Lecter. No, that's the last <laughs> name. The last name Hannibal was a VP and then he had another one who was uh I don't know that's I, I'm fine with writing it down because who else I mean we don't got nothing else right yeah we're all embarrassed that we're doing so badly we really are um we need, we need these are obscure guess. these are definitely obscure was one of the atoms maybe for tiniest or for which one tiniest I don't know we're just okay which one down. John Quincy Sure. Okay. Good. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure he was very short. Yeah, um, I have no. And we need this. He's only on money. They're all the what same size on money, just like we are. We're all the same size here. What it just sounds about... like a short person name. <laughs> what do you think about George? Start and ending. I think that's fine. Yeah, George, George Washington. Yeah, go ahead, guess, anybody. What about tuberculosis, Jewish guy? Not a clue. Shh. Give me a guess of a Jewish financier. Okay, Anderson. a Jewish sounding name that was very well, wealthy. Doesn't Rothschild, don't they blame them for everything? Yes. What's the first? Oh, oh well, just one of the but Rothschilds. I don't think they're Polish. Oh, sure. And well, also, this guy died in poverty, so he probably is didn't have much of a legacy after that. That's true. I don't know. Right. Well, Jewish financier. But he's Polish. From Poland. Let's see. Oh, who's from Poland? We could uh well who's that guy from Fiddler? Yeah, go ahead. Do that one. I am really everybody better done bad because I'm 
Are we really gonna put yeah. Why not? Okay. <laughs> oh, that's sad. What was his last name? Hey, hey, if we're running out of time, let's put, if we're running out of time, put Ben Franklin for everything we don't have an answer Te for. Tevye the Yenta. <laughs> Isn't Yenta uh, like a matchmaker? Yeah. Um, yeah. Matchmaker. I know Ben Franklin. And the, and the matchmaker was named. And he was the president. Yeah. Jeez. So what, what do we not have? Put Ben Franklin for everything. Okay. Not we don't have financier <clears throat> well that was definitely not franklin but i don't know put, got... put rothschild just or put george soros yeah, <laughs> he's, he's, uh, there you go. it's definitely george soros yeah must okay. be he's always responsible great team guys thank you guys yeah. oh that was so hard and i'm wow, so that sad that i did so awful <laughs> that was a hard category. Holy I'm so God. glad that I had smart people in my team. Damn you! I'm so glad I had Americans to do well on this. Normal here. As as always, I, the questions I thought were hard were some of the ones that you got right, and some of the ones that I thought were easy were the ones you missed. Oh, interesting. But, yeah. So, okay. are you ready for the answers? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay, okay, I'll read them all, and then I'll put them all in chat together. What was the first important thing about Abigail Adams and Barbara Bush? They were both not only wives of presidents, but they were mothers of presidents. Mm. And their names are AA and BB. Yeah. Well, that's true too. <laughs> but you said important, so. Answer, right? And I think they both had their husband's ear too. I think their husbands listened to them. That's yeah. why I wrote significant <laughs> addition. That is a good one. That's why they had us. <laughs> yeah, significant, okay. <clears throat> And I think uh, I think being the wife and mother of number two, the spooky thing that happened was two presidents died on the mm -hmm. very same day separately, and they had been political rivals. But later, they wrote a whole series of letters oh, and yeah. actually worked through some of their differences and their important letters. And the last thing that um, at John Adams said as he died is Jefferson still lives, and he didn't. He died hours before him. Mm. So on the 50th anniversary, both Thomas Jefferson and John Adams died. We got it exact. We even knew which presidents it was. I was I, I'm impressed. Well, knowing which presidents, I one team said they two presidents died, and I said that's not going to be enough. You yeah, need we got to the, have names. the names, right? Yeah. Mm. I was pretty sure that one was Thomas Jefferson, but uh, Kevin got the other one. <laughs> Number that's three. Canadian. I know, by the way, I didn't say that people wouldn't be duplicated, and they were. Um, hey. Number three, Thank goodness. who wanted to eliminate the letters? And that was Franklin. Benjamin Franklin. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. That's what we said, and we changed it. Uh, <laughs> we almost changed it. It seems like the type. And you guys <laughs> remember uh -huh. that yeah. answers can be duplicated, and nobody has to say anything. That's not part of the rules. They don't have to be. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Yeah. It doesn't have to be. And, and when you have a limited number of people that mm -hmm. are possible, it's hard mm -hmm. not to. Um, mm -hmm. Number four, the powdered wig. That was that was George Washington. Yes. 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 Oh, yeah. He, right. he, he never wore a wig. He hated wig. Sorry, we could not. We put George Washington, but boy, we had no reason yeah. to believe yeah. that. I, I was amazed when I saw that one because he, he looks like he's wearing a wig like everyone else, but he was not. So. I was kind of thinking it was. Um, and Lynn 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 Cheney wrote wrote the biography, um, and the person that she wrote the biography about was Madison. George oh. Clinton died in 1812, wow. which left the, the, the pres vice presidency vacant for one year. And then his second term, Eldridge Gary, uh, in his second term died after one year leaving the vice presidency vacant for three years. Wow. Oh, we forgot the okay. category name. We put, we put Lincoln. And he you doesn't need all that. Father. All you needed was Madison for the answer. Darn but, it. So after George Clinton terms, died, there was no each function. Each term, one happen. of the vice presidents died. Well, what the vice president died, and they did not replace him back then. And number six is also Madison. Yeah. Good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Number seven, 
who who was the the um the pseudonym Richard Saunders? I think Franklin. most of you knew that that was Benjamin Franklin yep. or Richard Almanac. He used that pseudonym of mm -hmm. Richard Saunders. Our friend Ben Radford is named for Benjamin Franklin, by the way. Oh. Okay, number eight oh, is Nick, one that I don't think anyone got. I really didn't expect you to, but I wanted you to know that he existed if you didn't. His name was Heim Solomon. We got Ooh. it. Yeah. Oh, oh, how dare you. It. How yeah. did you know that? It was hiding in was, my memory. Yep. <laughs> in the back, back of that all, canyon behind you, Bill. He went all Carl on us. <laughs> I couldn't leave that out when I read that story. I would not have known that. And yeah. number nine, I would have gotten right, like almost all of you did. Uh, France was definitely a supporter of our revolution, but they were not the first ones to recognize that. That was the Netherlands. Netherlands. Oh. Where was Netherlands. it? Netherlands. Oh. Is yeah. Poland part of the Netherlands? <laughs> <laughs> Only a France. Right. Right. It was then. I knew it was too good to be true. I would have guessed France. Netherlands. Yeah. Netherlands yeah. always yeah. sounded dirty to me. You should have. Need a lot. <laughs> The nether, nether nether lines, nether yeah. And I think that I thought 10 was hard, but most of you, I think, got it, or maybe all of you got it. It was John Quincy Adams. Oh, we mm -hmm. got it. No. One, yes, we two, did. Three, four. Oh, okay. Seven. He was eight, defeated eight, by six, Jackson seven, and went eight. on to serve in the House. An unusual thing for even now for a former president to do. Mm -hmm. Great questions. Very good. Okay. Fun, Gail. All right, let me put them all in the answers in there. Yeah, because I don't for, have to spell eight. Good for U.S. history buffs. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, and yeah, that's why I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> well, it was your son tonight. We needed him on our team. I kept saying yeah. he was here. He yeah, a founding fathers of Canada quite category. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Considering there that there things? is no such thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, Johnny well, we were, well, there, well, there are a bunch who are considered the fathers of confederation. Johnny McDonald. Oh, yeah. Okay, get that your scores the, together. That was the first prime minister, yeah. But. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so let's go with uh, we have 787.5 million reasons to be happy this week. Uh, eight. That's reasonable. Frantic feminist firecrackers. They gave you linen, linen Paul. Sorry. <laughs> Six. Ooh, that's with linen Paul. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. The tooth fairy left him five million dollars. Five million dollars. Five million dollars from my pillow. Five. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, that was your team. <laughs> All right, chat GPT doesn't know or care what it writes. Is if it's right, it's with it's true. Okay, um, okay. I counted four, unless uh, somebody else actually put down George Washington for for the fourth question. Uh, the, the, that name came up for four, but did we actually write it down? <laughs> Tell us up to faith. Yeah. Uh, so, so that which would bring it up to five. Okay, <laughs> that's, five. that's five. All right. Fox News spreads fake news. Eight. Oh, wow, you got some all over the. Whoa! Somebody pulls ahead by a lot. Wow. Fox News spews fake news. Okay, so let's make ourselves pretty. Are you guys all at your prettiest? Oh, wait, we have to wait for Paul here. Paul, oh, Paul, come and be pretty. <laughs> Paul's remember. on a comfort oh, break. I miss the photo here. Let me see who's who's. You're next? gonna need. To oh, do I like Terry's there. <laughs> you gotta do don't something let, with Terry. Don't, yeah. don't do it. Oh, look at Karen. Karen. Okay, Paul's back. Okay. Oh my God. There's Karen. Oh dear. Okay, I'm going to count to three. Karen. Count to three. One, two, three. I take this picture every week. It's just this boring picture of me with my Karen. Oh my God. Karen's not boring. 
Karen no, is, that not is not boring. boring. <laughs> I think Karen really wanted um, those Fox executives to be deposed and testify in court. Does she make yeah. that? Karen right? wasn't she's the just, only one. She's not the only one. I was I very know. disappointed. Yeah, fun. <laughs> yeah, but they're saying they explained what was going on and what would have happened, and you know, uh, it was it it wouldn't have been good. We don't have any birthdays we have to sing to or anything like that, right? Nobody's confessed to me. Well, my well, my my mother's birthday was yesterday. No, sorry. <laughs> no, yeah. that isn't passed. So I, my my sister's birthday. Birthday. So I remember. Yeah. Uh, so I remember uh, the uh, ex queen's birthday by noting that it was two days that oh. she was born two days after my mom. <laughs> oh, so she has. So the queen gets to be born. Okay. Yeah. Five minutes, y'all. Day before yesterday was my half birthday. Yeah. Doesn't count. Yeah. My Lord. So I apologize for being a bit late. You're um, in the doghouse. But, but I had spent the previous two and a half hours on a Zoom meeting with the uh, Toronto Pet Users Group, a one of the most active retro oh. computer users oh, groups i remember around. you were going to do that that's great oh. yeah so that was boy what a trip down memory lane they asked all sorts of weird and bizarre questions <laughs> had a good time though yeah more more weird and bizarre than you get in trivia well more personally weird and bizarre and it's just i mean just about everyone started with well, I just wanted to thank you for basically making my life. Because they're all, you know, incredible enthusiasts of, of the machines my dad and, and our family worked on. And it just it's just so weird to be given this sort of personal responsibility. So what uh, so what's the name of the machine? P the com the Commodore Pet. Oh P E T. Okay. Uh, so in 1977, uh, three personal computers came out, the Commodore PET, the Apple II, and the TRS-80. And I was part of the team that developed the Commodore PET. I had a TRS-80. Well, I won't hold it against you. <laughs> trash. They call it Trash-80 was the nickname. When I was in college, my boyfriend and I had a, a big house, and we had a big office, and that we shared with big desks and he can he can he kept saying we need to buy a computer or we need to buy a computer and i was like do we really though and he was like yeah it's going to be the future and everybody's going to be using it and i was like but are they really though and <laughs> <laughs> and the answer was yes yeah. and apparently finally, these computers have caught on yeah, they have. but i finally i gave in and we got one and we learned how to use it and I, was like, I had a TI-99 and a C <laughs> Commodore C-64. I had a TI-99. I also had a Commodore 64. Love that. Um, yeah. I never had a pet, but my uh, friend of mine um, got got a pet, like, after the fact, because he was, like, we were getting into computers, and he wanted to collect uh, the previous models, so he got the, got the pet. I first had Did an that? Atari 400. I had a Sinclair ZX80. Well, that's that's unusual for an American. <laughs> they were cheap at the time. They were cheap um, Has, all the time. <laughs> Has anyone here gone to the computing museum that's in San Jose? Many times. Oh, yeah. It's super I, fun. Yeah. I went to when it was an SGI office. Well, but it wasn't the Computer History Museum. Yeah, the well, um, I've, well I've been to it since then too. But uh, I, uh, SG, I was a customer of SGI, so I was went there for several. Uh, to several to that years. building, huh? That, to that building. That building? Yeah. that building, yeah. All right. I know, first, when I, there, yeah, I know that SGI had it built. Yeah, I know that SGI had it built. That was I, that was about five years later. 
the the museum. Okay. Well, anyway, I guess I'll sign off. Uh, see you next week, I guess. All right. Take care, Jim. Bye, Jim. Right. Bye, Jim. Bye. 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 There's a, there's a whole exhibit there on Wikipedia, and I took pictures of all the displays and sent them to Susan when I was there. <laughs> and I, all I could think when I was there was this, this museum would make a great trivia category. My first computer was a Rosie. Uh, who? Never she actually did from housework and, <laughs> <laughs> from the Jetsons. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I haven't looked. I haven't been to the uh, Computer History Museum in a while. The uh, the uh, at least to see the exhibits. I've been there a couple of times recently to give talks and go to conferences, mm. um, but I've never. I haven't actually looked looked through the exhibit in a while. I keep thinking I should volunteer there. Mm. You could you could say in my time, this is what we used it. <laughs> That's what yeah, my I husband mean, and I said as we walked around with my kid. Everything we put, we're like, we had this one, I had this. Girls yeah, it's weird. It, it, like, it's weird so when I walk around that. I go, okay, I worked on that one. <laughs> that one. <laughs> one of the founders uh, showed up for a trivia quiz at Britannia Arms at that time. Uh, so that's how I met him. His name was Chris. Yeah, the uh, might might be fun, and it's it's pretty nearby. Mm. My my first computer actually had uh, uh, a bird inside it that would. Uh, Flintstones now. Transcribe through sure wasn't a little dinosaur. <laughs> well, that would well, be it was you know, all birds are dinosaurs. Yeah. <laughs> it was on stone. Uh, you know, like the Flintstones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay, right. we're back. Are we? Yes, we're we back. are. Yeah. We got a lot of good stuff to talk about here on the break, real quick. We can do it fast. Okay. Yeah. Kyle, what you got? Well, this week on Data Skeptic, I interview someone from the Phil Papers survey. It is a survey that they do amongst philosophers, mm -hmm. asking about their opinions of various topics related to philosophy. You know, do you believe in consciousness? This kind of stuff. So we talk about his process for doing that survey, what they ask, and what some of the results are. And that's this week on Data Skeptic. We have surveys for a long time, huh? Is this about normal? Yeah, yeah, I do a couple of months on every theme. Wow, this is a good, very interesting, learning lots of stuff. The idea that that many philosophers think that um, AI is conscious is disturbing. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. <laughs> oh my gosh. On a, uh, was it Gail's group? I did a talk on Sunday to an atheist group. I think that was it. I did a talk to a Florida atheist group. And somebody, when it got to the Q&A, came up with, so what do you think we should be doing about <laughs> to this fake deep fakes and all that other stuff? I thought, what? why are you asking me? <laughs> huh? Oh, and one of the guys on the group, one of the people who was at the Florida Atheist, his last name is the same as yours, Kyle. I said, oh, oh I know somebody who has the same last name as you. And I said, do you know anybody at all? <laughs> So check out his podcast. He's an anthropologist. Not bad. There's a couple of what's, poliches what's around. What city in Florida yeah. was the group in? It's called, it's in Tampa area. It's uh, Atheist of Florida, Florida Atheist, Atheist of Florida, something like that. You know, just getting, and then it was funny because they, you guys all love this. So we got to the part with the atheists, you know, at the end in the Q&A and somebody says, atheism is the right way of knowing something is real or something like that. And I thought, uh -huh. Oh, you don't know all the atheists I know because there's a lot of atheists who believe in a lot of really strange things out there. So that was interesting. Okay, so I'm going to show you a chat. This is something, uh, chat, I'm going to show you a chat. I'm going to screen share something. You guys should be really, really impressed with this. This is from Paul. So Paul just wrote this Wikipedia page. Okay, now this is what it looked like before. Just ignore this beige little bit up here. 
So this is what the Wikipedia page looked like before. It's called The Faith Healers. It's uh, uh, James Randi's book. So here it is, two citations. And so this is the page it looked like, you know, the, and then he pulled it up and he started fussing on it and he rewrote it. And this is this is what it looks like now. Look at this. Look at this. Mm. Wow. Isn't that beautiful? Oh. Wow. It's such a difference. Look at this. I mean, look, he's got the synopsis of all the chapters. And as I was reading through this, I thought, I need to reread this book. And I pulled it out. And look, it's still going. Did yeah. he write the synopsis uh, of all this, of the chapters yeah. himself? He did. Yeah. Not the whole cut and paste well, of the whole book. Like. <laughs> yeah, no, it the book. And then down here, he's got uh, appendixes and million dollar chest. Is this longer than we would normally make for a Wikipedia page for a book? But I said, just publish it. If somebody hates it and they think it's too long, let them pull it down. It's not going to be perfect. The book I have is this one right here. That's the version I have. I would recommend this book to you guys. But look at all these. Look at this. It's not got a ton of citations because it's, you know, books don't necessarily have a lot of mm -hmm. secondary sources mm -hmm. for these, but it was just really nice. It just felt good to see um, this page being reinvented and, and just given a nice, beautiful appearance. And I don't know, Paul, you did a really excellent job. I'm proud of you. And you should be doing these a lot faster okay. than you're doing them. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah. that's a lot of work a while to write all of that a but lot yeah. of work he's um, an expert on this now so and uh you want to tell her about the jpt yeah. experience oh and uh just yeah. for fun i lynn tried to do a um a version of chapter four using chat GB, gpt wow. and in like a couple of seconds it cranked out a, a supposed to be a, a synopsis of chapter four that looked pretty impressive until i Compared it to what was actually in chapter four. It didn't match up at all. Even some parts did. I mean, it got the general gist of the book mm -hmm. wow. right, but that was all. But yeah, I, I didn't actually. It's give it it's mostly luck chapter. that it got the general gist right. <laughs> yeah, yeah I mean, it amazing. sounded it sounded good, but I didn't actually tell it uh, what was in chapter four. It just oh. came up with this from somewhere. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it, it was a simple request. I kept it simple just to see what it would do. Well, it's a, it's a terrific page. Really great. Great work there, Paul. Get to work on the next one quick. All right. <laughs> Whatever the next one is. Go a lot faster than me. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I really, I looked at this and I said, and it made me really think, God, how much we've lost with Jake Randy. How much he gave us and how much we miss him. My gosh, this guy, incredible work. So anyway, so I wanted to bring that up because I thought that was great, great work. Um, yeah, I was glad I was making this tiny little contribution to his legacy by writing that up. That's a huge it's contribution. Wonderful. It's very respectful of, yeah. of his legacy. You think about it, it's giving a lot of respect to it. Um, Saturday, if anybody wanted to know who might be in the Monterey area, I think I'm going to go over to the Wildflower Show over at uh, Pacific Grove. If anybody else is interesting, interesting, interested <laughs> in going over there, they're going to have a show over there. My sister's going to bring me a, a tomato and she's going to be coming from Santa Cruz. So I'm going to meet up with her so I can get this tomato from her. It's a it's a plant, you know, it's a okay. Caspian. It's it's really tomatoes a plant? tomato? No. It's a Caspian pink, and it, they make the most amazing big tomatoes that are huge and they're light pink, kind of a pinky pink, pink. And <laughs> I have not been able to grow them. I can't find can't them to grow. A, you can't eat a tomato plant; they're toxic. Well, <laughs> you can eat. I don't even like tomatoes, so you eat the fruit, but not the plant. But I like growing them. They're members of the nightshade family. Mm. Yep. So if anybody wants to go with me, let me know. Or meet me over there. Tried to kill George Washington by feeding him a tomato. A story. <laughs> Adrian, anything new on the skeptic zone we should know about? I actually know what's going to be on it for a change. Oh. How's that? Mm -hmm. and, She's and psychic. It, and yes. you're wearing it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I am. Start by your shirt or your dress. Yeah. <laughs> it's a skeptic zone. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> It's so nerdy. That's, you know, hey, what can I say? I have one uh, GSOW dress and I have a skeptic zone dress. Not when I, when oh. I was in Sydney, when I did my talk, I, I wore my excited. GSOW dress. And I thought for the upcoming Week in Reason conference that I'm speaking at, and I'm doing trivia on Friday night, I'm going to wear my skeptic zone dress on Friday night and my GSOW dress on Saturday. So 
I just kind of throw myself into this stuff. It's kind of fun. And <laughs> yeah, if you're in Calgary, I do have one room left if you want. So <laughs> please feel free to come up. Richard's going to be there. I'm so excited. And Celestia Ward. Oh, that'll be nice. Isn't that awesome? It sounds like fun. Yeah, yeah it's going to be great. I hope. We'll, we'll see. It might be total disaster. You never know. It's, so it's May, fun. right? It's in the beginning of May. Yeah, it's the first weekend in May, 5th and 6th. And uh, let's see, here we go. In for the skeptic zone this week, we have Wikipedia UFOs, the newsletter, and of course, Trove. And there's also a Yowie hunter who <laughs> died recently, but he has been a long time Yowie hunter in Australia. So if you want to find out about him, it will be featured on the show as well. All right, then. I just have, I have a question about the Weekend Reason Conference. I might be able to answer. Do you think there will be any protesters there? Huh? I don't know. Yeah. I doubt we it. We didn't even get him at SciCon. Yeah. No. Anti-reasoners? Well, we have Seth Andrews coming as well and Aaron Raw. So that might yeah. be. Yeah. Uh, uh, atheist conferences do occasionally get... Uh, protesters yeah. not in canada usually we the last atheist conference well it was the very first conference I ever went to was imagine seven and it had uh, richard dawkins and seth andrews and a uh, whole bunch of other people and there were zero i was wondering about that zero protesters but that was like 2017 so hard to say you're just too nice up there I know. yeah <laughs> vincent, yeah. Wants, vincent <laughs> wants to be the protester he's going to show up with a sign yeah but <laughs> he's going to say i hate peas <laughs> Unfortunately, we have the preacher up here in Calgary. Oh, oh, that's an interesting story. He is a preacher who got arrested for holding church still during COVID. Uh, you know, so. Anti-vaccination. And the current premier wants to let him run in the next election and wants to kind of figure out a way that it wasn't there a recording vincent of her yes I and, can, and, I can fix this <laughs> yeah <laughs> and um she can't she no. <laughs> backtracked and said yeah and said something asinine of like oh well i thought this was like the united states to where governors can you know yeah have more power than what the premier has and it's like no and, and she's Canadian and she's in government and, and she thought this. Canadian. Yeah, she is. <laughs> she's a little wackadoodle. Tripper makes me laugh. She's a wackadoodle. <laughs> she's a wackadoo. Oh, man. Okay, so the other news, we have anything else? I've got a couple announcements. Anybody has some, anything else that needs to be announced? Jane, you still singing? She's not even talking. Yeah, yes, huh? too much. Too much. Too much. Is that even possible? Where's Cindy tonight yeah. now that I think about it? Yeah, in fact, we were supposed to have a board meeting and we changed the date. That's why I'm here. Oh, oh well, good. Make sure you no longer have those on Thursday nights. Let them know. But <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm much help. Is only one thing is. I don't like about board meetings? You got bored. They're, they're boring. No, he's they're boring. Say, yeah. I yeah. knew he was going to say. Paula says she's going to start joining us hopefully next week. So she's oh, good. gone for a while. And so she, anyway, so we got to keep reminding people that it's Thursday night. Um, the things that I have are, I'm starting to hear about Psycon, the little bits and pieces that I pick up here and there. And it's still going to be at the Flamingo. And it's still um, the same weekend that we thought it was going to be. And <clears throat> Um, I know one speaker, but it's I can't announce it because I can't say who it is, but I know one person, but I don't know of any of the big, big names, you know, nothing like that, that I, I know, not that I could tell you, but me, I could tell GSOW because you guys have to, yeah. this, but, and the, <laughs> but I will not be speaking at Psycon, but I still get my table at Psycon hey. because, you know. That's cool. So I am going to go and it's actually going to be kind of relaxing. Adrian and I wanted to do a workshop, but but Barry said he's already at the workshop set up, but there was like a two hour window. I said, Adrian and I can go do it in two hours. No problem. He goes, no, you can't because 
uh, we've got to refresh the room. They come in and they clean up the tables, put fresh cloths. And he says, we can't do that. It wouldn't work. And I'm like, okay, fine. But I still got my table, right? Barry? And he says, yes. So the, that's, that's, I kind of, you know, it'll be relaxing for me because I won't have to do a talk, but I'll still be really busy. And I hope to see everybody I possibly can there. But the other news is that uh, I will be speaking in Australia. Yeah. So I got, I got, uh, they, they emailed me the day and asked if I wanted to come to Melbourne and then possibly go on a tour and do the other Australian groups. And I said, of course, that'll be December 1st, I think. And then um, I said to the New Zealanders who are having a very small conference in um, Dunedin, D-U-N-D-I-N. Dunedin. Dunedin. Dunedin, yeah. Yeah. It's, oh, so they I move their conferences just like Australia does, but they do them in small areas that might not even be a big skeptic group there because it's New Zealand and they move it around. And so sometimes they have it in places where there's not going to be a large crowd because you know, it's just the way it is. So that's where it's going to be. And they said they weren't thinking of bringing anybody in from far away because it's going to be a small group. I mean, there might only be 50 people. And I said, well, I'm going to be over there anyway. <laughs> well, how New Zealand and, and Australia aren't all that close. Well, it's, it's on a, my way. It's a long swim. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's on the way. And I've done this before. You go to one, then you go to the other because you're already over there. And the flight isn't that expensive. And then once I'm in the area, once I'm in New Zealand, I'm just the same as price as any other speaker. You know, it's a hotel room and food and that's it. You know, it's not that big a deal. So they're thinking about it. And I, so that'll be great. So, so in the small town of 50 people, are uh, like 30 of them um, psychics? <laughs> uh, no, it's not the town is 30 people, 50 people. The conference will have about 50 people because it's small. It's a small thing. That's what we did. My first one in New Zealand was in Queenstown, Queensland? Queenstown. Queenstown. And that was a very small group, but it was fun as hell. And the place is incredibly beautiful as Janine and Adrian know, because they were, they've been there recently. So incredibly beautiful. You know, if you're there, you can then go sightseeing. And I stayed with, I went to the skeptics conference and then I ended up being hosted by two. But Janine has got, she's, she's, she's so good at this environmental walking and looking at things stuff. I'm not, <laughs> I'm, I'm more of a like, let's hang out and play cards against humanity and <laughs> <laughs> and eat and uh take pictures of things Janine we gotta take this girl bird watching oh my god I know yeah I would just chit chat and, the whole and if she won't come we can let her sit at home and suffer <laughs> no I mean, I'm, talking, I'm just I'm more of a new kind you of know doubt. but you know Robin I'm so embarrassed because I don't know my shorebirds at all uh I keep you, you don't have to know them all. You just go out and discover them. They, they don't know, know you and, either. And I go with, yeah, exactly. Well, I go with Robin and then I don't need to know. She can tell me. That's true. <laughs> um, okay. So the last news is that I have somebody who looks like she's about to join. She's coming from the, the GSW project. And it's just for you, Adrian. She's another math teacher. So I thought that'd be fun. She's, she's also from the Air Force. So, I'm like, oh, I know, I know Adrian's gonna be so happy. <laughs> okay, is that it? We got everything. Let's move on with yeah. the game. Come oh, to our concert. Come oh, to our concert. Yes. Locals. May. For, May for come up. Weekend. At the mission, oh, mission. Carmel. You guys, Carmel. Let me see. Jane. Hold Carmel. On. Saturday and Sunday. I can't make it. I'm going to be up at Humboldt for my uh, 50th anniversary of graduation. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I'm I'm going to my 50th visit. And, oh uh, man, reunion. it's the first one I've ever been to. I never went to really? any other. Well, I well, get to this, I thought, now. I think it would be interesting. Yeah. See who's I, dead. You know. Well, you definitely oh. get to do that. I I've been to my 50th. And and I'm a little um, conflicted because we're having another one that's our BR fifty what fifty third, and it's right at the same time as SciCon. 
What do you mean you're conflicted? There's no conflict in there. <laughs> Nothing is, I don't care if you're is, having is surgery, your, you go to PsychCon. I mean, come on. Is, is I get to walk school? Through yeah, high, high school, high school, yeah. I get to walk through the commencement ceremony wearing a golden gown. Oh. <laughs> Not at PsyCon. No, <laughs> <laughs> Thank That's goodness. <laughs> well, they wouldn't one. even notice because it's Las Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they'd think he's one of the acts. They'd be like, hurry up, get yeah. on stage. <laughs> right. Okay, so we're ready to start back? Okay, here we go. Sorry, you guys. I find this part so interesting. It's like I get to catch up with you guys a, a little bit too. Um, oh, I'm going to be doing two, three workshops, one in Lodi, one oh. in the area, and one in Sacramento coming up pretty soon. So we'll announce those as we get closer. All right. I have no idea who's next. Bill might come to your Sacramento workshop. Be better. I'll have it as. Have it as... Depends on when, where, and. Uh... Yeah, you know, they have to be even. Yeah, She'll let put me it know on her Facebook the, page, I'm sure. All right, here we go. Are for the Bay Area. Okay, here, here we go. Um, the Bay Area is the 20th of May, and the 21st is Lodi, right, Carolyn? Yep. We look like it's a venue. It'll happen. Okay, where and you, then. Where is it for the Bay Area? Uh, a library. A library mm -hmm. somewhere. I don't know. I will know whenever I got to give them the information and then the van down by the river. Sacramento skeptics looks like it'll be June 3rd. Where? You Sacramento know? somewhere. Oh. oh, I think it might be the same library that I spoke at last time. I think it's, it's a really nice place. It's a library. I think it was Deborah. Yeah, I remember. I don't remember what the street Arden? was. Arden? So. No, was it Arden, Sacramento area? I don't remember. I don't know. I don't know. That? Like, hey, I'm coming all the way to Sacramento. It you, was nowhere you near could the go capital. from Sacramento one place to the other. It's a Saturday. Just don't make plans. Okay. Um, You're not working. Be working today. on the railroad. No. That's what I was doing today. Well, all you're not allowed to day. on a Saturday. All the whole long day. That's yeah. that's what he mostly <laughs> does it probably. All the, live, all the live long day. All the live long day. Okay, so Ron. Who? Where are you? Oh, there you are. So we're hoping to have. <laughs> I didn't even say it. So this isn't going to be a recap of of elements that start with letters of the alphabet in certain orders or something like that. Is it? Please tell me no. No, it's not that easy. Oh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Wow. Okay. What is it? Okay. So today we're doing that subspecies of trivia known as bar trivia. Oh. Our trivia team. about bars. Hey, where's your brother, by the way? I have no idea. He's here. And he's not even here for your trivia. He's in Chicago. That's all I know. Um, anyway, so for today, uh, this is all this bar trivia. I'm not even going to make it a hidden theme or whatever. Is it about this, lawyers? This theme is <laughs> all answers contain bar. Uh -huh. Oh, it's not Ben. Okay. No, no Ben and no rat this time. We're up to bars now. I, after okay. the last yeah, couple I did here, I need a bar. So <laughs> three, three letter words. Okay. <laughs> so the bar on this one. Yeah. Okay. I will mute everybody. Don't forget to unmute yourself, Ron. Yep. I am no longer mutated. All right. So number one, and they get easier after this. Two Brits walk into a bar and start a vigorous discussion. What do you call it? Number, number two. This was a detective series about a formerly retired investigator. Lee Merriweather played the eponymous star's widowed daughter-in-law. The show was originally introduced as a mid-season replacement on the CBS network and ran from 1973 to 1980. Number three. 
this is a progressive city with industrial roots located along the Susquehanna River. It is the seat of Luzerne County and is a keystone of northeastern Pennsylvania. And chances are you are pronouncing it incorrectly. Washington. Only if it has a bar in it. Actually, lots of bars in Washington. Yeah, I'm sure there's plenty. Okay, number four. No, we're not killing Ms. Streisand. This is a disinfectant for disinfecting grooming tools such as combs and hair cutting shears. Oh. Number five. This drug is used as a sedative and hypnotic and antispasmodic. Trade name is Nembutal. Number cease. In the New Testament, this prisoner mentioned in all four Gospels was chosen by the crowd over Jesus Christ to be released by Pontius Pilate in a customary pardon before the Feast of Passover. In 19, this is number seven, in 1964, along with some other islands in the Indian Ocean, this island nation joined with Tanganyika to form the United Republic of Tanzania. And just to make it more interesting, number eight, with sidekick Cad Lackey, he was always in dogged pursuit of his nemesis. And my favorite two questions. Number nine. There have only been two US vice presidents who fit this category. Name either one of them. I don't care which one you pick, just name one of them. Number 10. Name the other one. <laughs> okay. That was evil, but all right. And that's, that's it. how you do it. That's how you do it. Okay. Now I send you off to your roomies, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. Have a nice flight. Robin, she's in room four. Right. Yep. Attack one of three. Hello, teammates. Uh, I won't. I won't be keeping score this time. I got a, oh, I got okay. a couple. I have a couple. Number seven is Zanzibar. Oh, Zanzibar. What do you think? I have seen something. Okay, that's good. Who is, who is who is keeping track of the answers, please? Oh, she's so practical. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. Okay. Zanzibar. I guess it's yeah. Karen got voted in. Karen, I'll Barkley. Karen. Which number, please? Nine or ten. Is Listening. Alvin Barkley. Alvin. Alvin. Oh. The B? Yes. Number two is Beretta, right? Oh, oh yeah, Beretta. Beretta. Oh, that's good. Forget about that. Mark, Mark had to deal with the, the bird. What was the bird's name? Whitey, mm -hmm. I don't know. No. I don't remember. There yeah. is Wilkesbury. Number three, and please Wilkesbury. tell me again. Oh, this is birds. I hear birds. Can you spell, can you please spell it? W-I-L-K-E-S dash B-A-R-R-E. Wilkes Berry. Got oh, we, Wilkes Bar. The Wilkes Bar. Yeah. Okay. What, what, what question is that from? Three. Three. What, what is the uh, question, you guys? That's why he says you're pronouncing it wrong because it looks like bar, but it's berry. It's like bar. Yeah. This yeah. is a progressive Remember? city with industrial roots located along the some river. Yeah, okay. we've been there many times. Number, number four, four is Barbasol. Bar Barbasol. Oh. No, no. Oh. No, no, no. Barbicide. 
Really? No, I thought it was Barbara. No, Barbara Saul. Yeah, Barbara Saul is that jar that they keep combs read, and shears read. in. Barbara Saul. Excuse me, read gentlemen. Excuse read me, gentlemen, who are very sure of yourself. Please read the clue again out loud. Yeah, but. Please read the I know clue it's again. A, the request it's a, is to read the clue out loud. Clue out loud, please. <laughs> please. Who's gonna read it? Jamie, read it. No, we're not killing. Yeah, but it's dry sand. It's a disinfectant for disinfecting grooming tools, combs, and hair cutting shears. So it's no, not. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, no, it's. And yeah, was what you put on your hair. hair. It's also, no, it was a shaving cream, but it's also okay. what they call the blue stuff. Yeah, that blue okay. liquid. I have an idea. Pretty, Why don't we move on to other Barbasol? things? We'll Let's write Barbasol for now. The Barbasol. Let's write Barbasol for now and let's continue with the questions. And then Karen will be right. Okay. <laughs> Number five is pentabarbital. Oh, pentabarbital. Pentabarbital. Number six is barabbas. Can you spell that, yeah. please? Which pentabarbital? No, I gave up on that. <laughs> Barabbas, B A R A B A S. Maybe two. Yeah. Barabbas. No, this one. And then Zanz and then Jamie got seven is Zanzibar. Thank you. Eight. I don't know who that is. What's the question, please? With sidekick Cad Lackey, he was always in dogged pursuit of his nemesis. So we need the name of a sidekick. No, the sidekick is named Cad Lackey. Is it Babar, mm -hmm. the elephant? Did, did Babar have a sidekick? No, no. no. He had That's a, a good one, Karen. OK, Bob, when, when you're saying no to me, when you go, no, no, that feels different oh, just than, like, than I no. I read all the bad. I'm sorry. It's getting late. Um, yeah, no, it, it's uh I'm trying to I think of, back it like it's a, more often. It sounds it's like, like a comic strip. It sounds like Karen against all the men. Yeah, it sounds like uh, she holds her own. Yeah. It's, it sounds like a a Sunday comic, doesn't it? Sunday Bunny's comic. Which number eight? That's Simon Bar yeah. Sinister. Oh, good. What is that now, Bill? Simon Bar Sinister. Oh, what is he? He was a cartoon. Oh, what was he, was, he was a villain. Oh, uh, uh, underdog. The underdog? Is that what you're talking? He, yes, very good. Oh, I haven't thought about that in years, Bill. Is, Simon is Bar that... Sinister. Bar Sinister? Like okay, so... bad guy, Sinister? Yeah. Uh, okay, a bar sinister is a stripe in uh, uh, it goes from right to left. Yeah, it's that. Yeah, it's um, it's a heraldic. Yeah, it's in heraldry. Yeah, yeah. and it's yeah, what it's, is it's heraldry? heraldry what, what is heraldry? Heraldry is like coats of arms. Yeah. Okay, so what's the other vice well, president? It's it's supposed to denote illegitimacy or something like that. Yeah. So sinister is on the left, which is it's sketchy. So that's like the underdog cartoon. That Simon Bar Sinister. I believe so. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll take it. Is it Bob? Is it your chicks that are peeping over there? Yeah. The oh, they the light so lovely. The, the light is on a timer, and when it goes out, they don't expect it to go out, so now they can't see. So they kind of get stressed and then they'll settle down and go to sleep. Oh, maybe the so light they they're not ready. They're not ready for the light to go out. So they like all teenagers to, everywhere. Yeah, that's what about what they are too. Okay. What is the name of the rooster behind you or chicken behind you? That's Mem. No, it's Max. You know, okay, that's Max. I the other one's Mem. God. Men is with the babies. She wouldn't come over and she she wants to stay with yes, her max. kids. Yeah. Maximum. So number one is a joke, right? Oh, we forgot about the two Brits walk into a bar and start a vigorous discussion. What do you call it? A bar fight. No, it's a 
Sounds like a British <laughs> term that we don't use. Bar. Barrister. Bar. Bar. bar barrage. Um, um, two, two bar. Bar. Bar rock. Bar. Bar. Into a yeah, it's, it's, sounds like it, it's a British term. A pub? Bar pub? Pub bar? Pub bar? Is there a word? Pub bar? Two Brits walk into a bar and start a vigorous discussion. Unless the answer is pub, you call it a pub. But every answer has bar in it. Not, not every question, or, every yeah. answer. Is that what he's... All answers. Okay, you're right. All answers contain bar. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so, do we know the other vice president? That's the other one we don't have, right? Was there a Bartholomew, Bartholomew pres vice president? Oh, that's an idea. That's a very good answer. I mean, I don't know. We could just write it until somebody thinks of something. Because usually, if we get the last name, they're okay, okay with it. Barnaby. Barnaby is the Barnaby. last name. Barbaris, Bar Barbara, Hanna Barbara. Hanna Barbara, the the great grandfather of Hanna Barbara. <laughs> That's what you call it when two two um, Brits walk into a bar. A vigorous discussion. So you mean like a debate or a, a debate, right? an argument, a bar argument, bar argument, maybe? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, nobody's excited um, about that. <laughs> well, that's better than the zero we have there now. A bar argument? Is that a British term I've never heard? No, it's like a plant, like a joke, maybe. A bar argument? I mean, okay. it sounds like a... Come on, uh, work with me here. Uh, I... <laughs> <laughs> he said that one would be hard. Okay, I put it down. Okay, look, how about we put it down for now and when you ponder something else. Yeah, it's okay. okay. May, may, okay. I may I appeal to you about number four? Okay, so let's talk about this. So Barbasol is a product that is correct. Yes. Yeah, it's a brand. Well, it's a brand. Is, but it's a shaving cream. I think you're right about barbicide. It makes more sense. Okay, but there there is a product also called barbicide. So Barbara's type makes sense. I've, I've never heard. Okay. Yeah, well, because I've never heard you of haven't Barbara's heard of it, Bob. I'm, well, no, I'm saying I'm I have. admitting I haven't heard of that. Yeah. But Barbara's I, the shaving cream. The, and it fits. Yeah, I know. There's a brand of shaving yeah. cream. Because it's but saying fluid, we're not fluid. killing Barbara Streisand. Oh, oh one yeah. second. That, that, we were asked that. We're good. Um, if, I guess if it's, the, um, it, the disinfecting product might have been spelled B A R B I S O L. But the, the I just used have to a strong them. memory. Okay. I have a strong so memory Bob, of that. So Bob, Bob, it. No, Bob if it okay. was, I'm not gonna... no, I have a question. If it yeah. was Barbasol, does yeah. that fit with the clue we're not killing Barbara better or worse than Barbicide? Yeah, that's true. Karen's good. Man, she should be mediating stuff. Yeah, that's that's okay. There's another See, person who's missed her, her calling. She should be out mediating. Yeah, See, that's the, the person they called that got the Fox News. Up. See, the, the barber side was actually it was witch hazel, wasn't it? No, it was the blue. You ever see the is the blue liquid the, in the jar, the in the white jar? Yes. Um, jar. Yeah. It was witch hazel. The, the, no, the, it was, was made of witch hazel. There okay, going a, back to question 10, do we come up with a vice president? No, not yet. <laughs> well, it looks like Bill's working on it. Do we want to put Barnabas, Bartholomew, Barney, Barker? Any of that ringing a bell? Mr. Bill, you're the one that knows presidents. Vice presidents? I don't even know my vice presidents at all. Yeah, Barkley was the only one that came to mind. <laughs> Okay, does those other names bring a bell that, that Karen just said? Bartholomew, Bartholomew Barnaby, Barney, Barney. 
Barrington, Babar, Vice President Babar. The elephant. He was the GOP, oh, obviously. <laughs> How are you guys doing other than obviously we trying to get two, the other one? But one. we're 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 my one and a half. Yeah, yeah. A, lot of, a lot of folks are getting stuck on nine and ten. Surprising, surprising. Oh, well, we got one of those. We got one of Bill had it right yeah. off the bat. We're stuck on one. So give it a couple more minutes and then send everyone back. No, you could you could uh, hit the two minute warning because that's we got two minutes. That's a long time. OK, I'll do the two minute warning. I have to go back to the main room to do that, right? You should. Or, or do I do it from here? Either. Oh, OK. You want to hear us argue? Karen said, Karen, something else, man. I just but the two of you in the same room is dangerous. No, I'm just laughing. <laughs> I just want, I just want to see the video of this. If, if they decide on something else, okay. But I would like my point of view considered. No, that's with Karen. I'm telling you. Dismiss offhand. All right. Well, I'm going to give the two minute warning here. Okay. So. Could somebody spell that city for me? Oh no, never mind because I'll I'll get it whenever I get the answers. Which city? W I L K E S. Bob spelled it W I L K E S dash B A R R Y. No, B A R R E. B A R R E. Yeah. Yeah. I have a question for you guys. And number two, you said Beretta. Are you sure it's that, or could it be Barnaby John? Oh, Barnaby Jones. Oh, yeah, Barnaby. You're right. Barnaby Jamie Jones. is right. Yes, Barnaby Jones, because that's the one with the. Um, He's a retired old guy. Right. Barnaby yeah, Jones. Were you sitting there all this time thinking of that? With Lee Merriweather. Yeah. You're right, Jamie. <laughs> Jamie, 100%. Somebody say okay. the answer. At the last second. Good job. Somebody, somebody say the answer, please. Okay, we don't have anything for one. I wrote Bargument. Okay, that's good. Bargument. Second is Barnaby Jones. Three is Wilkes Bear. Wilkes Bear. Uh, number four is Barbicide. Number yes. five is Pentabaratol. Barbatol. Okay, it doesn't matter. I'm making it up. Six is Barbados. Barabbas. 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 <laughs> Seven is Zanzibar. <coughs> Eight is Simon Barris Sinister. Bar Sinister. Bar Sinister. Bar Sinister. And nine is Alden Barkley, and ten is Aaron Burr. That's oh. the closest I can come. Wait, wait, but that's not a bar. Burr, B U R R, is no. That's the closest that I can come. B A R. Pick, pick, bar, pick bar, Barnaby, Barkley, Barrington. Somebody pick a last name. I think Bartholomew is a good last name, isn't that? Or yeah, that's good. Okay, Bartholomew. Good job, everybody. Much, much better category this time, Ron. That was tough, though. Was some, some of those way better, better than the other one. I like the other one better. <laughs> you would. You would yeah. I don't think anybody's going to 10 on this one. Oh, yeah, no, we didn't. I know we didn't. Yeah, I was a bit surprised that people got a couple of the answers. I didn't expect. But anyways, we shall start off with number one when the two Brits walk in. Everyone is back, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The two Brits walk into a bar and they have an argy bargy. It's oh, a lively right. discussion. Oh. Argon or dispute. Okay. <laughs> Did people get that? Yeah. Yeah. I was yep. surprised yes. a lot. At least two groups I've never that. That. They got it. Okay, Ron, do you know what I put because we had nothing? What? A, a bargument. A bargument. <laughs> we said you that were, word. <laughs> you were close. We, we just put we just bar. put bar brawl because like we couldn't <laughs> think of anything. <laughs> Argy, bargy, bargy. That, that's yeah. good. Ar Argy, bargy. And, um, Argy, bargy. And number two, I think every team. Oh, no, I think one group got the wrong one. Was Barnaby Jones? Yeah, Yay. Danny came up with we that at the blind. last minute. We had Beretta, oh. and then all of a sudden, just okay. Back, I saw goes, your, I saw you had goes, Beretta. It's okay. Barnaby Jones, and it was like, okay. oh yes, it's Lee Merriweather. Yes, it made sense at the last second. Okay, mm -hmm. now the next one. I think everyone 
Got it, maybe. It is pronounced Wilkes-Barre or Wilkes-Bear, but most people pronounce it Milk's Bar, especially in this area yeah. where we're it's like right next door. But it's Wilkes-Barre or Wilkes-Bear, depending on who you talk to. And, and yeah, I see Bob their name it. on stuff. What is their products? Because I see that name around on stuff. I can't remember what they make now that I think about it. And I used to drive by it all the time when I would go up to Toronto from here and they have signs for what they make and I can't remember. Cough drops? A Guillain bar disease. I don't know. Gummy bears. Gummy bears. Okay. And even though pretty much everybody uh, spelled it wrong, they did get it right. No, I'm not trying to kill Barbara Streisand. This is Barbicide. Yes. <laughs> Karen is vindicted. Vind vindicated. Or vin or Thank you, Vincent. <laughs> Yes, I heard Vincent. Thank get you, that Karen. One. I would never have come up on that. <laughs> I had to look this one up when I was coming up with it. I think everybody got it wrong for number five. The answer is not phenobarbital, it's pentobarbital. <gasps> yes, oh, we got yeah. it. Got it right. Oh, you did. Okay. Uh, All right. We yeah. spelled it a little wrong, but oh, close enough. It. Damn it. I think we were only one letter off. We, yeah. we, we, we've Good job, this. Carl. We picked the right one. Yeah. Okay, and I think most of the groups, I had to throw in some religion because of the kind of group we have. Um, <laughs> this, this is Barabbas. Everyone, I think everyone got that one. Boy, I misspelled it. Okay. Yeah, close enough. <laughs> uh, two Bs. Okay. Yeah. And the next one is Zanzibar. Yay. Yeah. Zanzibar. Maybe he got that one. Oh, it is an I. Got it, I think. Okay. And I know one group we got had it. a really nice discussion about underdog. That's why the hint there was about you know, dogged pursuit. But it yeah. is the one who is in dogged pursuit of him is, of course, it Simon helps to paste Bar it Sinister. in first, Simon Bar Sinister. Woohoo! Thanks, Carl. Oh, I, I, I totally spelled Bar Sinister with one that. word. <laughs> now, That's the question then. is did anybody get the two? Vice presidents. No. Probably okay. not. Maybe. Right. Do we have to have the first and last name or just the last name? Just the bar uh, name. The last name's good enough because that's where the bar was. Okay. Well, maybe. Well, we guessed the last name. I don't know if it's a we, it's we, a guessed, vice the, we guessed the last name of Barkley. Okay. Well, for every yeah, we met Charles Barkley, so you're wrong. Um <laughs> no, we put we put Albin Barkley. Actually, yeah. we met so, Lieutenant the, Barkley from Star Trek. Yes. Yeah, that's true too. Um, so everybody who got it probably mm -hmm. got Alvin W. Barkley, who's who's the vice president under Harry Truman. Ah, okay. Oh, that of was, course. Uh, Bill pulled that out of the recess of his mind somewhere. <laughs> for, for, now the much more well-known oh. one. <laughs> much more well-known. Yeah, and this was actually some bar trivia I had at the crossword puzzle tournament. That's where I I came up with this one. Everyone's favorite, Garrett Hobart. Oh, oh of course. Well, what William about McKinley, Mike? Uh, first what about uh, Mike, vice president. No. What about Mike I'm Barnaby Jones? I'm sick hearing about Hobart trivia. No. We didn't that. even get close <laughs> on that, Karen. Not even. I think we put Bartholomew or something. <laughs> so did we. <laughs> oh, we did. It <laughs> might be somebody's name. name. <laughs> I was listening to everybody come through uh, every, every possible name with a bar in there. But nobody came up with Hobart. <laughs> and it was in the middle. Wow. Or, wow. Hobart, Garrett Hobart, long so, may he live. So Gee. there you go, some good bar trivia. No, go have a good drink. Did you okay. go through all of the vice presidents we've ever had to make sure that they weren't? No, actually, bars? like I said, at the crossword puzzle tournament, they had a guy doing bar trivia with us, and he came up with this question, and then I verified that he had the only two. He, you verified that by looking at all the other vice presidents. I got a list of vice presidents and I said, search for bar. Oh, okay. That yeah, does control F. Easy enough to do. Yeah, yeah control that's true, F for I bar. Guess. And those are the only two came up. I wanted to see Ron with a pencil and paper going through. <laughs> What's a pencil a and lot, paper? But a lot harder, you know. What's a pencil and paper? I love that. Pen and paper. Oh, come on now. Well, that was good. That was fun. Okay, let's see what we did with the scores. You guys adding them up quickly? Let's see what we're we're before we have an RG bargy here. Let's get going. Archie That's why you do it electronically and you just highlight. Okay, so the tooth fairy left him five million dollars from my pillow. Six. Okay. Frantic feminist firecrackers. 
six. Well, that didn't do you any good. They're both in the same now. <laughs> <laughs> Stop okay. the count. Stop we have count. 787.5 million reasons to be happy this week. Seven. Oh. I gotta that I'm gonna remember that name, 787.5 million. I'm gonna be saying that all the time because now it's on my head. Well, if you look, what are our scores? 787. Ah, uh, see, oh. 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 that means you got five oh. coming up. Yeah. Oh. We better five the next round. I just jinxed our team. Sorry, team. Point five. <laughs> yeah. I planned that. Can I do a point five in there? Let's see. Point five. No, how dare you. <laughs> uh, it gives me a zero in there. Get rid of that. No, you can get a zero and five. five on the bonus. Uh, there you go. Okay. So there's, frantic. Oh, wait, wait. Where am I? Here's my uh, name. Chat, chat GT. Here are their scores so far. Chat GTP. Oh, ha. Huh. So we're expecting a five on the last one then or the next one? <laughs> Seven, six, six. I think we got four, five. Five? Four, four or five. Well, we make up your mind. I, I can't. Yeah. Which do you prefer? <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I know what they prefer. But I thought it was closer get? to six. Okay, Fox News spews fake views. They lose and we're enthused. Eight. Oh, Eighteen. Oh, How wow. dare you? Oh, that was my team. Woohoo! Yes. <laughs> you didn't miss me at all. All right. We're only you on round you three. knew Hobart, right, Susan? Yeah, that was it. But I didn't want to show off, so I didn't say anything. <laughs> you know, because the Canadian's so bad. You're leaving us, Carolyn? She's waiting. Bye, Carolyn. Waiting. But she's Bye. on mute. Bye. Bye, Carolyn. Carolyn. Can't leave on mute. Sorry. Not allowed. <laughs> nope, nope. She's Just gone. In time, we're going to get to famous Carolyn's. <laughs> Goose from the past. Oh. Okay. So thank you very much, Ron, that you've redeemed yourself somewhat. No. I want you to know that you did. Yay! Good job. All thank right. You, so you. Miss, our barrister here, never know what she's going to come up with. So she's on mute, dear Robin. More of a solicitor than a barrister. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. <laughs> but it fits the barrister, so you kind of fit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that kind of soliciting in this. Group. I hope it's a good no, Susan-related character uh, category because we really have <laughs> okay. right. Susan. All right. Um, the category is well. My team reminded me that my category should have been four twenty. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, I missed the boat on that one. Is that oh, it is four twenty. Yeah, it is four twenty. My my opening question would have been. Plus or minus five years, in what year was the film Reefer Madness released? <laughs> I don't know the answer to that. I'd have to look it up. But... Yeah, Robin, you blew it. I blew it. Blew it. And instead, Did we're doing Columbo. But she didn't inhale. Columbo is my category. <laughs> <laughs> 1939, that answer. All right. All right. Going to so, move all. So, Robin, oh, remember to Wait, we don't know her category yet. Yeah. She just she said, said it, but everybody was Mumbles. Talking. Mumbly, 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 mumbly. <laughs> so my category favorite. is Columbo, everyone's very favorite oh. uh, TV detective. Yes. Oh. All right, let's go. And Susan's an expert on Columbo. I don't know so. anybody's names, but I can tell you all the synopsis. We all should right. put the the thing in chat. Um, would oh. that be good? The it's good to chat. put the the category in chat. Columbo, as you say it. Okay. Uh, forget for okay. Too late. So I have Talking to add another word to my chat. Okay, about to mute, and Robin, don't forget to unmute nope. yourself. Muting. Okay. So Columbo, as we know, I'm, I'm sure we all know that there was like early Columbo and late Columbo, and there was like some space in the middle. The number I'm looking for here is plus or minus five years. How many years between the beginning of Columbo and the end of Columbo? Uh, let me. Let me this. All right. Question number two. Um, okay. What kind of car did Columbo drive? Make not model, just the general brand of car. Oops. Oh my. Push the wrong button. Okay. What color it is? Huh? I know it's all green. 
I'm trying to I've tried to make these not too obscure, not too oh my God. Difficult. Okay. Number three, who was the most recurring guest villain at four episodes? There were many recurring characters, but only one character or only one actor played the murderer four times. Name that actor. Number four. I'm cutting and pasting. Uh, other than the person in the answer to number three, there were four other actors who played the murderer more than once. Name one of them. Robin, I want to do Rob's job and ask you to put them up and read them with us so we can read them while you're just saying it. Okay. That's Janine's rule. Okay. I thought it was Rob's rule. Janine, no, it's Rob is blaming Rob Janine. Never, Rob I'm sure never, Rob approves of that rule. <laughs> He's the Plus enforcer. Minus five years, in what year did Peter Falk die? Plus or minus one, how many episodes did Peter Falk himself direct? Which of the following celebrities never appeared in an episode of Columbo? Blythe Danner, Jamie Lee Curtis, Sally Field, Ruth Gordon. Number eight. What was Columbo's dog's name? It would be too easy if I asked what kind of dog it was. You have to know his name. <clears throat> Plus or minus 10, how many different act directors directed at least one episode? It's one of those shows where you have like a guest director uh, all the time, but some directors directed more than one. And finally, this will be the hardest question. Number 10. Some Colombo aficionados have been known to play a drinking game called Spot Mike Lally. <laughs> Mike Lally played an extra on Colombo in numerous episodes, and he was the founder of the Screen Extras Guild. Uh, he was, he may have been in more than this many episodes, but how many episodes was he officially credited in? Plus or minus five. Columbo. I don't know any of these answers. <laughs> you don't? Oh, come on. I love Columbo. But again, I know the synopsis. I don't know actors. I don't know the directors. I don't know none of that. But I'll you don't know what kind of you give me a plot, I will tell you what's going on. Your team anyway. will your team will make up for you. They better because <laughs> I'm embarrassed. This is almost as bad as the founding father. I'm making that. people I like to I like to level the playing field a little bit by making people guess numbers. This is hard. Okay. Instead of, it's a little bit of guessing. Who's going to the room? Uh, I don't know how to do, do I have powers to make? Yeah. I think Adrian's working on it, I think. Breakout room. There we go. Okay. We lost Jim, huh? A long time ago. Romero. Where's Faith and Romero? They lost, we lost them because their internet's slow. Unless they're trying to get back Oh, in. so it's us, huh? Yep. yep, that's why I said we hope you're up to your, your knowledge on it. So are you guys Colombo aficionados? I know I think, a couple I think, of these. I think I know a lot of these. There you go, Jane. Let's go. <laughs> you know a lot? Hmm? Colombo was on for a long time. I love Columbo. 
I've, a long time. I've, I've seen a lot. I, in fact, I owned a bunch of the DVDs. So do I. I think I have them all. All the so CDs. the so the first one. How many years? It's um, like I'm going to say twenty. It's more than that. It's well, more than that. We got a plus <laughs> minus five years. Plus or minus five. So that's why I said twenty because I think it might be like twenty two or. I think it might be thirty. Oh, really? It's way up there. Well, I'm it's thinking way it up started there. around like 60, 71. 80. 71. Early 70s with the, um, it was part of originally part of that four show thing. Yes. Wasn't it? Yes. Macmillan and Bobby. Macmillan and Wife, uh, Colombo and. Columbo, and, uh, and um, the, so let's the, say the, something the more like 23. One. It was 71 and it was into early 2000s. If you say like 23, then it's giving you. 20, okay. 28 to, you know, what do you think? Okay. Or should we go 24? Right. I think it's 30, so I would say 25. Jane, what do you think? I think it's about 22. So if we say 25, then we're within the five and we hit 30. Okay. I'm okay with I, I don't, I'm, I'm playing mediator here. Yeah, I don't that's what, that's, yeah so we, what we want to do is we want to strategize to get that number with the plus or minus five. So it sounds like we're skewing high. So, well, they, wasn't he off the air for some in between? It wasn't, yeah. yeah so, yes, but it I ended in the early 2000s. He started around, I'm thinking it started around 68. Then it makes it even worse because I said 2000s when it finished. So that's even worse. That's like 33 years. But I don't think it's that many. I don't, I don't think know. it went that long, though. It went into 2000. So 71 really? to 2000 is my guess. He was along. I'm, I'm thinking it went to like 19, like 90, 99, 2000. 90, I, I can't believe he went to 2000. That seems crazy. I'm thinking 90, 1990, 90. Okay, let's say 25 for the moment. We'll come back to it. So uh, 25. Fine. Okay, what kind of car was it? It was a Peugeot. Yeah. Okay. What did you say, Jane? Peugeot. It really was. How do you spell that? P E. Let's see. P E U G O T. I know it's beige. Yeah. I I would never have gotten that. Who's the most recurring recurring villain? Patrick McGowan. I'm thinking it was Patrick McGowan. Was it? I can remember two I, of his. I was gonna say somebody else. Maybe I was three. gonna say. I was gonna say the guy from. Um, oh. Um, who played in Planet of the Apes? That guy, um, Roddy McDowell. That's Roddy McDowell. Uh, I know he's in at least two, but well, I'm not sure if he was in four. I have, I have a a couple of names for for the next question: uh, Jack Cassidy and mm. Robert mm -hmm. Culp. Uh, and uh i could probably think of a few others but um we just need one yeah but this i was most likely Rick mcgoohan would be the the one go ahead go ahead and use i can that remember mcgoohan being in three i think then use that one and then he was in the dawn's early light he was in um bill bixby might have been in a few too he was also in the one where they had um Johnny Cash the was captain. He was a captain of a boat, and you saw the murder from way in a way in the distance in a, a binoculars or something. Something that was the murder happened way over here, and there's a third one I can remember him being in. So use that. Okay, Patrick McGowan. So who do you want to say for four? Robert Culp. Robert Culp sure. or Jack Cassidy or uh, Jack Cassidy. I okay, like that Jack one. Jack Cassidy. I remember him being in at least one. I like Roddy McDowell too, but I'm not sure if he was in more than one. Bill Bixby might have been in a lot of them. So Peter Falk, I remember reading his Wikipedia page. What a mess of a life this guy had. When did he die? I'm going to say 2010, 2011. Um, and it's so sad. Did you know he had Alzheimer's and he has no me he had no memory of his life before? No memory. So say of you say 11 oh. is the biggest number. So let's go with 2006 we have plus or minus seven. Five. Yeah, it was six or seven. 2006 seven. or seven. 2007. 
He wow. He, yeah. Stuff. Think about that. He's no memory of anything. How many did he, let's episodes? Do it. Did let's he go a little higher. Cause I, I do think it was 2011, but just in case it was like 2012 or something. So 2008 then. Okay. Okay. How many episodes did he direct? This I have no idea. I'm going to say very few. Plus or minus one. So it's let's, probably under 10. How, how many seasons we think he was on like 20. Let's say like 15 or something. I have no idea though. I'm just guessing. Plus or minus one. So Susan's got a good point. He, uh, it's probably going to be less than 10. Okay. So let's go with eight. I don't know. I have no, I have no idea. idea. I never pay attention to who the directors are. It, it could be as simple as zero or one or two. You know what I mean? It could be a very low number. It's a guess. Okay. Which of the following celebrities never appeared I think okay. I remember Sally Field. And, I and Ruth say, Gordon. I was going to say, I do not ever remember Sally Field being in the show. I Jamie Lee Curtis would have been really young. young. But if Since he went so late, she could have been on there. She could. So I don't know Blythe Danner. Who's that? Blythe Danner is a real, I'm sure she was on there. She's Gwyneth's mother. Yeah, um, she was in uh, the Mar the Fockers. Okay, She's Ruth Gordon. She was on there. I've seen that episode. Okay, then let's go with Sally Field. Sally Field. She I was just popular see. at that time, but right. I just Columbo's don't... dog's name was just Dog. Yeah, I think it was Dog. It was just Dog. <laughs> I completely forgot that. Yeah, I remember that now. He does say that a lot. He's like, "Well, I, I haven't come up with a name for it," and they never name his wife either. She doesn't have a name. She you never know, shows. I, Mrs. I think Columbo. that's right. Except for then they came up with uh, then they came out with Columbus show, wife, which was I wish they hadn't done that. Yeah, I mean, come on, that's really cruel, Mrs. Columbo. Yeah, she was just never named. She was just Mrs. Columbo. I mean, he talks about her all the time. Oh, Mrs. Columbo, she yeah. Saw. yeah. Which I, and I always sort of felt like maybe she didn't even exist, possibly. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, somebody had to take care of him. <laughs> My gosh. It's like Did Norm's wife on Cheers. <laughs> like Norm's gotta, wife on Cheers. I want to go back and watch these over again. But um, okay, how many I you know the thing is, is the thing is is that I have all those DVDs and I'd watch them. I put them in all different orders, so I never paid attention to when one ran. It was it's like funny watch read, this it's funny to read about them and then look for things like the that William Shatner episode. You know, you can yeah. you can read about it and and you can see like on one of them, like his he he like in one scene when they, you know, switch uh, positions, he'll have his mustache and then they'll switch positions, come back and his mustache is he doesn't have his mustache or it's crooked or something. Oh, like that. <laughs> I don't want to know that. I want to think it's all real. They were so clever. I loved. Oh, such a clever. The writing was so good. Oh, okay, how many different directors? Plus or minus 10. So that must no, be a higher number. Yeah. Probably over 50. Well, over, over, if, if he, if it went, if, it, I don't know how many episodes there were, but, you know. It was very few episodes years. the first few years. Then it got to be, you know, into yeah, probably 20s right. or 30s a year. Right. Because it, so, in, the first, in the first years, it was only, it was it's like. It's going to be a few hundred. A month. It was so. Let's go with like 200 around there or something like that. Oh, that's that's a lot. Two, that's a lot. A of lot. Episodes. How about 170, 150? 150. Oh, that's a lot. I mean, how many episodes do you think there were? Well, in the beginning, there's only a few. And then when it got to be a regular, they probably did 20 to 30 a year. No. They did that many? Yes. No, not on a season. A season only has like 12. 26 weeks in a season. But they didn't, make a, they didn't do it on a, a weekly basis, I don't think. Not in the beginning, yeah. but then later. It was a weekly. Twilight the show was a weekly. Six or so episodes per season or whatever. More than that. Because... Say there were probably, all total, I'm going to guess, you know, if there were like five or six episodes a year for, if let's say there were six or eight episodes a year for, Not and there weren't one. There wasn't one episode every year for twenty years. So there was no, probably but, only twelve a year in the at the, its height. No, because seasons. I wouldn't were, even think that. 
this the seasons it started off as a as a once every four weeks, and the seasons were like twenty six weeks long. So, but then when it went and it got its own weekly one, it would have been twenty six in that year. I don't think it was weekly for for because it because the TV show not the first never runs. Years. No, I don't think even later. later. I don't well, think Columbo would years. ever. I'm thinking maybe ten years it did twenty six episodes. No, there's no way they could do twenty six. How, how many DVDs do you have? I yeah, don't think no. Columbo was ever weekly because it was always no. like an hour and a half long. It, it could not been. It could not have been because a what TV have show DVDs? only runs for a, a season, and the season would be like twelve weeks. A season is twenty six weeks back then. I'm telling you, back then, yes, but if it yeah. runs but every three it, weeks. Yes, if it, he did it every three weeks, then it would have been like ten episodes to twelve. That's what I said. So about yeah, 12 yeah. I believe episodes. you now, but the seasons were twenty six weeks for like Twilight Zone did thirty episodes a year for five. Right, but those were like twenty minute half hour, shows. Half an hour yeah, episode. yeah, and show, they but, had different actors all the time. Yeah, yeah. this and is yeah, the he, same actor. More weekly, it's more like the weekly movie. But this so, is a yeah. movie. And, so and it, ten and to they, twelve for at least ten to twelve years is over a hundred right there. So one hundred and twenty. But okay, he did it so for, he plus or minus ten. He, they didn't do it every year. Yeah. So they're yeah, my, but they did I've it got for almost like, thirty years. I think I've got five sets of DVDs. I think that's what the whole thing is about. Five sets of DVDs. And it's and the question is plus or minus ten. How many different directors directed at least one episode? So you probably have twenty episodes on each DVD. That's a hundred episodes. I'm guessing. So somewhere, how many different actors? Some did, did it twice. Let's go with like maybe sixty. You want to go with sixty? January sixty. That's a good guess. It's plus or minus ten. That's fine. Because the answer yeah. is just how many different directors. Yeah. It's not yeah. 60, so let's go 60. Okay. Now, the last one, I have never heard of this. I don't know anything about it. Me either. Plus or minus yeah. five. So we're probably under 25. Let's go with another 60. Just go with another 60 because I have no idea. We got. Do so we it's official. So the answer is probably. Well, it's plus 50. or minus five. So the number is going to be lower. Under 50. So 25. 20, 25. 25. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine? I didn't know there was a club of official clubs of aficionados. I just thought you just enjoyed them. <laughs> I don't know. This is, this is not about Columbo. This is about the show. Not you like the club of aficionados of this trivia. You too. They spot this guy who appears like, you know, like Alfred Hitchcock did in the background and you have to have a drink whenever you see him in there. 25. I didn't even know. I didn't know. It's only it one drink per movie. Had twenty. I gotta find out who this guy is now. It's Mike Lally. I don't know, you guys. That was a struggle. <laughs> Do we get ten answers? Yeah. Well, I think we know more about Colombo than the average person, and we didn't know a lot of these. Not, not, <laughs> not, um, not, not. What's his name? I would have done awful. How would I would have just been guessing on these? I don't remember any of these. These are not. These are weird. You didn't know something. Peugeot and you didn't know Dog. No, but I know the car looks like. I know what it sounds yeah, like. Yeah. But I thought it was like. Green. I know that he has a dog. It was like, like a wiener green. dog, wasn't it? Was it a wiener dog? I no, it was it a basset hound. Basset hound. Attention to the plot. I was paying attention to the plot of Columbo. I wasn't paying attention to any of the other details in these things. As opposed to the important stuff. <laughs> I was paying attention just the to the story, how the murder was done. That was weird. Hey, I was in a I was in a Princess Bride trivia one time, and I thought that I would know all the answers. And one of the questions was, "What is the poster that's on the kids' bedroom?" Oh wall? my god! That's the yeah, Chicago that's Bears. The stuff. <laughs> and what was and the answer? Who would exactly have some of us shout, Robin? We that's why they call people. it trivia. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> that is definitely Good trivia. Point. Okay. Do you want me to post the answers and then read them, or? No, it doesn't work. It doesn't matter in the answers. It's only the other way around. Yeah, Gradual yeah. reveal. But I must okay. know, Susan, what color is his car? Beige. All right. No, it's like blue. It's light blue. No, it's beige. I think it's beige. It's, it's blue. black and white. Somebody said gray. Yeah, I think. <laughs> yeah, we got to look it up. It was dirt colored. 
Yeah. I thought it was the same color as his raincoat. I, 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 I know see like a the screen dress. chair in our future. I know the technicians on the show had a hard time keeping it running for the whole length of the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh Did it really God, need to run? I don't know. Yeah, because yeah, it makes it sputters and putters and all sorts of stuff. And yes, it's part of it's part of one of the it's like a character. So it is yeah. like a character. Okay. It was always dirty. Yeah. Yes. Like well, that's why it was beige. <laughs> Uh, was, I, I thought it was gray myself, but well, the dirt the dirt was beige, Robin. The floor yeah. is yours. Yeah, Robin. Okay. <clears throat> Number All one. Right. Uh, how, how long did it run? Uh, started in 1971. That was the first episode, and it ended in 2003. Wow! So that's 32 years, even though wow. there was like 10 years in the middle that it didn't run. Oh, wow! Yeah. Plus or minus what? Five. Uh, uh, no, we didn't get it. Plus or minus five. Wow. I was pushing uh, for Kevin 30. Kevin was right. Kevin was right. I was pushing for 30. They didn't believe me. On a on the car, it's a Peugeot. I've heard a, a couple different um mm -hmm. things about yeah. what, what model it is. Uh number three, the most recurring villain was Patrick McGowan, who was yes. Oh. Good job, Jane. <laughs> Oh, I knew he nice was in girl. at least three. You got the right answer in the wrong question. <laughs> the the other uh, possible villains for number four were Jack Cassidy, uh -huh. Robert Culp, George Hamilton, and William Shatner. Yes. So any one of those. Oh, wow. Shat. Get that Shat. one. Shat. The Shat. The Shat. Did I bet a lot of people to, guess the Shat. Did we have to number our answer sequentially what if we put the answer for three <laughs> <laughs> and we yeah, messed up on the numbers change. not the answers we just messed up on the yeah. numbers yeah we're not going to change the answer we're just going to change the karen numbers. we'll yeah. all look away get some scissors and some tape and rearrange your answers <laughs> and you'll be good. what year did peter falk die 2011 oh, oh yes very good yes. carl we're so right, close wow. very good Jane. And that how was plus or minus Peter how many? Wait, 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 plus or minus, please. Five. Five. That was plus or minus five. We're good. Yeah. Yep, you got it. Um, how many episodes did he direct? Only one. Yes. Uh, apparently, apparently, he <laughs> no, apparently, he was somewhat hard to work with, and he um, had a fight with was having zero. a fight with the studio. He he zero. demanded to direct an episode, and then he found out how hard it was, and he <laughs> said, "No, I'm not doing that again." <laughs> <laughs> so he was difficult. <laughs> What yeah, year did he die? I missed that. 2010. 2011. 2011. Wow. Do you know what, do you know what episode it was sorry. that he directed? Do you know what um, it was? Yes. Now? It's called Blueprint for Murder, 1972. So that was right at the beginning. Who was the bad guy in that one? I don't know. And what's do the you plus know? or minus? Can you tell us? Uh, Five. Oh, the episodes was one. Um, How many I did find you direct the, the episode was. was plus or minus one? Seven. Um, number seven. The person who was never in it was Sally Field. Yay! Yay. That's the first thing I said. I thought Sally Field was in one of these. But Yay, Jamie Curtis, um, was it was like her third television appearance. She looked about eighteen years old, and she played a waitress, so she was like a, an extra. And she, I think it was uncredited. I'm not sure if it was credited or not. She was in none of them. <laughs> <laughs> you can find her picture. Uh, apparently she was a, like a grumpy waitress. Uh, Columbo's dog's name is Dog. Yay, Bill! <laughs> All right, Bill. Yep. Columbo was very right. creative. I think a lot of you got that one. That Number nine. Uh, how many different directors were there? Thirty-two. Yes. yes. Very good. Wow. We we're pretty close, team. Plus or minus ten. We're good. Oh, All and right. how many episodes oh, was Mike Lally in? Long. He was in 23 episodes. Oh, oh. oh we should have said that. Minus. Oh, yeah. He's in 25. Yeah. Plus or minus? Five. five. Plus or you minus just five. Just missed it. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> and wow, I that was push. a guess. <laughs> Robin, I got to disagree with you about how many episodes he, di he directed. He directed oh. two of them. He directed two? Yeah. Okay. Give me a give me a link. North. Uh, on uh, IMD, uh, IMDb. Uh, Let me see. Yeah. IMDb. Where? 
Uh, what am I? What am I searching for on IMDb? Columbo. Okay, go go to Peter Columbo. Falk. Go to directors. Yep. Here. Peter Falk, one episode, nineteen seventy-two. Uh, Look at the size of my cat. Aww. She's massive Aww. these days. Raccoon size. Cat. She's she's cat, raccoon size. Yeah. Do you, do you remember the show PM Magazine? No. There was a show called PM Magazine. Maybe it was just a New England thing, but they used to go to different towns in the town of Athol, Mass. They had this week on PM Magazine, Falk in Athol. And they said that on TV. Yeah, according to IMDb, he is credited for being the director of Blueprint for Murder, but he is uncredited ah. for the, oh, oh, the I, director I think there was of a, um... Etude in Black. Yeah. Yes, I think he was a co-director on that one. If you, if you, if you, so you got to give two, us the range of two. I'll take two. That's, yeah, that's fine. Give a range of plus or minus two, and we still get it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> in that case, we do get that one. Then I guess. Okay. Look at look at everybody. They're looking at you. Look at everybody. See, they're looking at you. Their head, oh, yeah. Hikey. <laughs> she don't care. <laughs> Just as long as they're getting petted. Okay, so let's get over to the scores. Hold on a second. Stay right there. Don't get anywhere. Okay, so wow, we got a we got a area here going from one extreme to the next. Okay, we've got a tie for last place. <laughs> Let's go, fanatic feminist firecrackers. Zip, zip, zip. Eight. Ooh, that's a good number. You guys know your Columbo. Who's your Columbo <laughs> person on that one? It was a not group me. effort, not me. Well, team effort. <laughs> the tooth fairy left him $5 million under his pillow. We're going to make sure we stay in last place. Five. Ooh, oh. We have a separation between that now. <laughs> All right. And the team that was uh, Robbins, chat GPT. How many do we get? Next time I uh, do questions, I'm going to have Chat GPT write my questions. <laughs> oh, oh, good How idea. How bad did we do, you guys? <laughs> I we're wasn't keeping score. We're not saying. <laughs> oh, was I keeping score? No, oh, Jane, were you keeping score? Who's keeping no, score? No, I wasn't. Was okay, good. okay. Well, really wait, wait for me. Okay, then we got. Uh, Um, that wrong. We got that one, two, three, four, 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 five, six, six, seven. No, six. We got oh, the last one. one. Yeah, we had that seven. Yeah, we got seven. seven. I'm like waiting for you guys to to say something. I didn't realize I was keeping score. Okay, Fox. Uh, oh no, we got to go up here. We have 787.5 million reasons. Is it a five? Eight. What? Oh. You screwed uh, up. It's supposed to be five. Sorry. Okay, Fox News spews fake views. Five. Seven. Seven, I think. Wow. Yeah, yeah if we got that one. Oh. Yeah, because okay. of the one. That 10 Still got at it. the yep. beginning really helped you out, and then having a good score in that second round, boy, big difference. Okay. All right, Deborah, you are yes. in charge of the, yeah, yeah. the last. Let's see what you do with us. All right, let's see here. Come backwards. Now we're in trouble. So now you're really in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Deborah hasn't done a bonus. Oh, and keeping in mind, I do not have people for next week. I only have two names. So we'll I'll do a bonus next week. week. Okay. Bonus. So. Bonus. Okay. You got it, Kevin. I've got one for you. This is Peggy. Ooh. Hey, hey, you've I, done. I have Vincent and I have Rob who will be back from vacation. Okay. Okay. So are you all ready? Are we ready? Are you sitting yeah. down? Are you sitting down? I am. I have a cat. <laughs> okay. Your mission mm -hmm. is to name the five smallest U.S. states by population and the largest city by population in each of those states. Oh. What if we don't accept it? 
<laughs> well, then you then you get zero, I <laughs> guess. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to say your mission should you choose to accept it. This yeah, is category self-destruct in five seconds. Yeah, <laughs> it does. Okay. So apologies to the Canadians. I was thinking about adding provinces, but it seemed like it was very difficult to tell what was provinces and what was territories. And then there was one that was like, had a population of about 50 people and no one has ever heard of it. So I just said, stuck with none states. That's Alberta. <laughs> yeah, none of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, then maybe that for another time we'll do that. So, okay. All right. So let's well, see. if you would have put the provinces and territory, I would have gotten it. <laughs> I'm sure Aww. that you would have. All right. Where, where, of course. Where's the thing where I send people to rooms? Use the power of your mind. Oh yeah. I'll do it. Okay. I can't I can't find it. <laughs> Edie, you're making this very difficult for me. Dakota South. Hello, team. Wow, look at all these people in this team. So yep. what um that's a good I'm not great. sure Montana. Montana? Why I'm not Wyoming sure about Montana. Nebraska? Oh, Montana, definitely. No, not Nebraska. Let me think. Not Nebraska. Well, I think Montana more than Nebraska. Oh yeah, I, I think Nebraska. those four are all good. Um, um both North, North and North North and South, North and South Dakota. The Dakotas, maybe, yeah. yeah. yeah I think North isn't as small as it was because they've had a huge influx of people in there working there because of the whale. Not that many. So you guys well, Montana's three? had a huge increase and in people do. But still there's still the it, they're the still and the state is still small. So what yeah, would yeah. be the fifth though? What is it New Mexico, maybe? No. I don't know. No. What Geographically, it's large. No, five. I don't what think about, Idaho. I don't think Idaho is not in there. What about Alaska? I don't think Idaho That's what I was going to say. Alaska. Oh, Alaska. Yeah. Alaska. Alaska is a big state, though. I don't know. Well, it's a big state, but we're looking at population. Yeah, yeah. nobody lives there. <laughs> um, kind of well, sucks. Biggest, biggest uh, Wyoming? Unless we want to keep this city in Wyoming is Casper. Cheyenne, oh, really? Casper. I think Casper has more people than Cheyenne. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, Capital is Helena, but that <laughs> might not be the biggest in Montana. Yeah, mm -hmm. what else is in Montana? Where oh, let me. My no, husband's from Montana. Let me oh, ask. Cool. No, no, no. It would be Missoula. I don't think Helena. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Missoula, 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 Oh yeah, college. Missoula. Think of college towns. Yeah, uh, uh, Helena is quite small. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jasper. And there's not a bigger in Wyoming. Well, it, it might be a toss-up between Billings and Missoula. Uh, Billings in Montana. Yeah. And, oh, Billings I see. Is, okay. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. I mean, it's a toss-up. I would think Missoula would probably be larger than Billings. We'll think about it. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then North Dakota. I can't even name one in North Dakota. One of them is <laughs> here. Is that Capital. South Dakota? Brisbane? North Dakota? Brisbane? Where, was it Brisbane? Where did, where did the movie take place where they were? Fargo? Fargo. 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 I think that is a big big ish city I for so that too. state so for montana john thinks it's either billings or great falls oh, oh great falls great montana falls. No, no, i think billings is fall no we lived in great falls it's not no okay, okay then Bill no, billings 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 or missoula yeah yeah south, south dakota is pierre is right pierre and is there a bigger town than that? South Dakota. Uh, which is the Dakota that has the military, like where they keep the missile silos? 
Yeah, we'll, <laughs> I brought, it's off my list. I just, yeah. just it's in the tip of my tongue. Well, that's what, cause I'm thinking like, um, like in Ohio, like in Dayton, I think it might be a population um, area because of the military mm -hmm. location. I don't know. Could be. <clears throat> okay, Alaska, yeah. would it be Juneau or? Um... Fairbanks. Oh, Fairbanks. Fairbanks. Fairbanks probably has more people, huh? Yeah, I think Fairbanks has more people. Anchorage is bigger. bigger. Anchorage. Oh, oh Anchorage. Anchorage. It could be Anchorage, yeah. yeah. That's what. That's actually. What's the capital thinking. of uh, Alaska? Is it Anchorage? Do you know? Do you know? I think Anchorage is bigger than Fairbanks. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, too. that sounds right. Yeah. yeah. So Pierre is for South Dakota. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not liking it, but it is. <laughs> um, Let me see. If, yeah, just a second. Check the husband. Yes. What about um, Vermont and Delaware? They're small. You know, I was thinking the same thing. Why yeah. isn't what isn't you think there's isn't one of the Montana? I think Rhode Delaware Island. doesn't that have doesn't it? There's Rhode Island. There's uh. Seems yeah, but like those have giant cities. What about Rhode Maine? Island. Don't the eastern yeah, Maine, states all have what they call Maine and Vermont and New Hampshire? Vermont and Delaware. Might I think Vermont small. has Vermont, more people, yeah. but Delaware is really small, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. But I would think that Delaware North Dakota might people. have more people than or no. Wyoming. Mm -hmm. Delaware no. is pretty densely populated, no. though. No. It's in the no. D.C. New York corridor, right near Philadelphia. Yeah. 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 So yeah. it's pretty well populated. I don't Vermont know. Vermont would be the one I would. Is yeah, it... Delaware wouldn't be. Okay. No. Maine is probably not good. either. I was going to say, aren't most of no. the What's eastern Maine other than Bangor? fairly populous? <laughs> I think uh, all the northeastern states are very populated. Yeah. Aren't they? Even though Maine's Maine... small, it's still kind of dense, but. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty I much wilderness. So. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, I, mean, I don't think I I don't think Maine's in the top five. This, no. it, it, Why not? This, uh, south, Is South Is Sioux City Maine would be in smaller in South Alaska? Dakota. South Sioux City in South mm -hmm. Dakota instead of Pierre. Say the name again. I think South Sioux City. And I Is it I, South or just Sioux City? Or is well, it Sioux City in Iowa? Might be, might be Sioux City. But isn't that in Iowa? Sioux City? Is there is one of those places that's all I over the place? There's multiple? It, yeah, I think it's right on, I think it's right on the border. Mm. That You might be right. It's in Iowa. I, I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know my geography right now. Ditto. Ditto here. Um, I, I'm open to any of these states, but my vote is for the first five we got. Yeah. Mexico. Now that I'm looking at it, I think you might be right. Now that I think about it. Yeah. New Mexico. And New, I thought about New Mexico. New Mexico. Somebody said Alaska, and I think that's a better guess. Yeah. New Mexico yeah. is, I think, not that's New more Mexico. than. Yeah. I think New Mexico is not in there. It's right near the Mexico border. So I think it's actually person? a lot of people yeah. in it. Yeah. New Mexico is big. big cities. Yes. New Mexico is quite popular right now. So yeah, it's you know, and it's highly populated. So take these guys off. Is that yeah, sort of yeah? Stay with our yeah. I and mean, then... I'd consider substituting Vermont for Montana, but we can stay with what Ooh. we have. Yeah, I don't know. We're not really in the running to win. Why not substitute for Alaska? I don't know. It doesn't seem like Alaska should be on there, but I don't know for sure. Well, you know, you think about it. If you're thinking about population for density versus just population. No, yeah, it's this is strict population. really not. Yeah. Well, see, this is a big issue right now in politics because the representatives right yeah uh, we about it. have two senators for each state and you look at california in comparison to montana and wyoming mm -hmm. and the dakotas 
there's no it's so off balance that yes yes uh, it's ridiculous yeah and so this yeah. is this is a, a, a big issue right now uh about who how many representatives we should have and how many senators we should have per population and well, if you know uh, how many representatives that would also give us that idea which yeah if we knew ones. if we knew electoral votes or anything like that for these i thought alaska was more electoral than, votes go with uh, population the representatives well it's two like okay so the lowest you can have is two right yeah, i thought alaska was three no, oh, I think okay. what well, you get Alaska one, small, two for the small. two right. senators and one for the representative, and so you, uh, Wyoming has three, right? Because they have one representative and oh, I see what you're saying. So the lowest you could have is three. I think so. So including the senators, and that goes with your electoral vote. I'm sorry. So Alaska has three. Or do you think they have four? No, three electoral I, think, votes. I have a feeling that Alaska has three. Wyoming must have three. Montana. I remember asking Caspian, I said, if they made Washington, D.C. A, a, a state, they would get three electoral. I said, is that make sense? Or Puerto Rico, are there other states that have less population than like Puerto Rico or Washington, D.C.? And I swear he said Nebraska was one of them <laughs> that was small. So they could be Nebraska. Did we take Nebraska off for a reason? We never put them on. Yeah, they weren't they weren't on the list. Yeah, they might be so small we forgot Nebraska. about it, huh? <laughs> well, yeah, Nebraska might be a toss up with Alaska. Omaha is a really big city. I don't know. Yeah, yeah that's but, what I thought too. People out in the western part of the state. <laughs> um, outside, of, outside of Lincoln and Omaha. Well, I'm not, just not, that's like two North big Dakota. cities right there, though. What that's that? two big cities right yeah. there. Like the cities in Alaska aren't that big. No, they're small. You know, Juno is really small. Yeah. Um, aside from Anchorage, yeah, Anchorage is bigger. Anchorage, yeah. is, Anchorage is bigger. Yeah, yeah. But you all know, right, if you want to stay with the first five, I just want to throw Nebraska in there as well. Let's yeah. stay, stay with the first five. I think that's a good bet. Let's look at these yeah. guys then, because we have a couple okay. we're not sure of. Leave cast. Yeah, where's our two minute warning? Is there um, what what are the driving? What are the reasons people go to billing <clears throat> what's in billings is there a college there's a college in billings and john um, what's in billings that makes it so big what do you mean what's in billings like why billings why is billings, is billings bigger, bigger than, than Missoula? i'm it's pretty sure no what's no no known no. for capital north dakota has just seems to be have gotten so much bigger these days all i know is that our car died in billings and we had to get it repaired and we were able to get it repaired and it's it felt bigger i've stayed in missoula as well but my sense of scale is usually really bad so i will clarify <laughs> that but I, my sense is billings I, was bigger than missoula so billings I has three I universities okay I so with you. yeah i think billings also all right and a big yeah. medical center we're whittled it right. down. Okay. We're going with Billings. And how right. about Jesus. South yeah. Dakota? Pretty oil refineries. <laughs> husband knows Billings. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's where he's from. All right. That's I'm gonna I'm gonna close the rooms now. <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, no. so we have to so get nine. Pierre, so I think we need to go with Pierre. Because we yeah. were, yeah. I mean, it's the only capital city we're picking. I, it's yeah. not bad. Okay, sounds good. That was yeah. hard. Good job, you guys. We hope. Well, hopefully, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we get a good shot. All of a sudden, I, I'm thinking of Cheyenne, Wyoming. Yeah, me too. I thought it was Cheyenne also, but I don't know. I don't know. So, I don't know. I have been to both of those, but I was very little. So, yeah. Uh, 
say. <laughs> oh, Casper's not that. I don't think Casper's that big. Cheyenne's. I think Cheyenne's bigger. You want to go with Cheyenne? Yes, I'd go with Cheyenne. Yeah. Yeah. Who the All right, sounds knows? good. Okay. Hey, no more changes. Lynn, Lynn, I apologize for your guess on the uh, on the Colombo thing because you had it right on. Good. And we would have had so nine. That was like a trick question to me. That's all. You guys were yeah. you guys are good at Colombo people. Huh? I was sad because I did so. We had, one, we had one for a long time sitting there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. <laughs> what have we got to lose? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It wouldn't have made the difference in the game, but no, no. How are you guys? So we point? figured out Sally Field, though. That was good. We yeah, did. Was I, good. I thought. I thought pretty, yeah. We actually figured out quite a few of them. It was kind of cool. Yeah. yeah, it was considering I never saw the show. <laughs> yeah, I probably saw <laughs> never, maybe. I've never seen Columbo. Oh I've my never gosh. seen Columbo, no. You guys yeah, have to sit down and watch Columbo. You there. have to watch a couple you watch, of them. Good. Yeah, you watch we just committed to each other that we'll watch them. Okay, you know what? The one you watch is the one with Yuri Geller and uh, James Randi. It's called Columbo Goes to the Guillotine. Okay. Oh, oh, oh really? Okay. Okay. That sounds yeah. like a good one. Yeah, Robin and I were talking about it uh, uh, over text. Okay, good job, you guys. That was fun. Okay. okay, so before we do this, I have two things to say. One of them is... Better um, you're being better. recorded. No, we are, but yeah. But the thing <laughs> I wanted to say is that I completely forgot to mention is Robin and I were chatting about Columbo a few days ago because she was watching it again. She says, have you ever seen this one about the gear? I said, oh, yes, I know all about that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That is a Uri Geller, Uri Geller and James Randi story told through Columbo. And I asked Randi about it, too, at one point when I was sitting with him in uh, 2012, I think, at uh, Dragon Con. I said, so what about that? And so it's a, I don't want to tell you the whole story. I'm not going to tell you the story, but that is one of the ones you definitely need to watch because the Columbo story is based on Uri Geller and James Randi. And that, is there a guest the name of the story again uh columbo goes to the guillotine oh guillotine okay yeah, yeah. Is, it's, is, it's is there a guest with... appearance by uh um by, alice cooper. by who alice cooper no <laughs> but there's but also there's... there's also a an episode uh, where the whole thing is based on subliminal perception which doesn't exist with robert cole oh interesting and Robin just watched the uh, guillotine. In one. the guillotine one, there's an offer to um, pay money to someone who can prove psychic abilities, oh. and um, it's comforting that um, Columbo says, "I don't believe in any of that shit." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the line that he uses with the young magician—I'm not going to say what it is—but there's a line that he uses in in there. And it's like that is that line has gone with me for years. And I, I think I even have it in my book. It's just an important line about how to figure things out. And, and what it, is it? What is it? Say it. Well, I guess I could say it. It's it's well, I don't have it memorized, but it's the kid, the Columbo says, Well, how did they do it? And the kid says, and it's a young magician, you know, 12 or 13. He says, Well, you first you you start off knowing it's a trick. Uh -huh. And then you figure it out from there. But as soon as yeah. you you know it's a trick, so somehow it was done. Now you figure it out. Something like that. But it was like I thought of that for years now. It's just a, it's just great because it's that's how it's done. You know, it's well, we don't know how because a lot of people say we don't know how it's done. Therefore, it's God, or therefore it's psychic, like, or therefore it's this. It's like you no, know, it is a trick. So somehow it's figure outable. Let's figure it out, kind of thing. And it's just it's great. So it's energy. No. Columbo goes, I think it's energy. called Columbo goes to the guillotine or Columbo yes. something in the guillotine. But yes. anyway, so Randy told me, I sat down with Randy and I said, so Randy, tell me, what was this all about? Why were they using your story of you and Geller? And he says, Susan, back in the day, back, back then, it, everybody wanted to use that story. It was just, nobody asked his permission. It was just... Yeah. They just wow. stole it. Well, you know, the forces names. of Hollywood are ruthless, cruel, and corrupt. So, right. you know, they're not going to ask anybody's permission. But it's clever. Anything. It's really yeah. good, you guys. 
Susan, oh, since oh, we're the talking. Second thing, co- wait, the second talking. thing I got to say is I don't have another person for a category last week. Is that you, Ben, that's just volunteering? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm volunteering to to share a picture of oh, okay. one of those cars so we can debate the color. Okay, let's see what it is. Oh, good. Oh yes. Beige. Oh. Gray. Gray. Why? It's blue. Beige. Oh, it's no. oh, 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 is it like that? Is it like that? It's, it's like, like the dress all over again. Is it blue or is it cold? Or is that dress? It's white. The, uh, that's, that's beige. Is that Yanni's the, uh, car? Uh, this is yeah. I think the I think the upholstery is gold. Off white. <laughs> Yanni, that Laura. is beige. I'm you know, sorry, it's the same color as his raincoat. It's just primer, I think. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Primer like beige. Primer color. It's primer. <laughs> Off white. So, this, uh, so let me know if you find a picture yeah. of, of him standing next to it with his raincoat, because we know his raincoat is beige. So, if you stand, if there's a picture of Colombo standing next to that car, that'll tell you. Okay, and I. This is the episode. Ready. Is the episode Bumbo goes to the guillotine? Yeah, I need watch it. one person for next week. Well, it looks like the color does change. Hold on, it's oh, blue no. in a, in a me, they have a toy car. They have a toy car and it's a light blue. You sure it wasn't yeah, just the color television one. was crap back then? <laughs> what color that, that looks some more? Oh, oh that looks one has kind of a black gray. top, oh, too. Gray. Ah. Gray. The plot thick of blue gray. Blue gray, yeah, yeah. kind of blue gray. Oh, uh, something's wrong here. It's uh, you know what it is? It's slate. Well, over thirty years, the paint probably oxidized and went completely gray. Yeah. Let's have an argy bargy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but look at his, Every look day. at his uh, raincoat. See how gray. They had more than one car hey, playing the role really of the car. Yes, exactly. How many well, dogs did they have? have? I, think, uh, I, I think I think you remember they had one car that they had to make it through all thirty years, and it was uh, really a challenge to keep the thing from falling apart. Now, now remember the act you though they had their twins because you can only have a car on for so many hours. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah. All right, let's all see. Right. I, they, oh. had, they had two of the of the car. Episode one. Are we waiting for a volunteer before we do answers? Is that what's I was going waiting on? for a volunteer. I just forced my cats to share a chair because I'm big. She won't let us do the score until someone volunteers. Do you want to do it? Yeah, do it, Lynn. Do it. Lynn? We'll oh. try it. We'll oh, try okay. it. Lynn's got oh, it. Excellent. Oh, and Lynn. So we're committed now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're committed, yeah. all right. Let me get down. Say your second. Write it down. Okay. You okay. Do five Excited. questions. Five, four, three, two, one. So um, Wyoming is the, the state with the least population, and I've put in the th- the in most cases the two most populous cities in those um, in those states. Um, Vermont got two because it switched in twenty twenty. Um, oh. so, got got two oh. got two what? Uh, but, well, if you okay, so the 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 most populous state in Vermont is Burlington. It, and it was the second most populous state was South Burlington. Give us in, the first five states. What are the states? Oh, all right. Well, it's it's in the chat. Oh, okay. It's in there. Oh, it's, for the um, listening audience. Oh, the listening oh, audience. Fans. So uh, anyway, the states are Wyoming, in, in order Wyoming. of of the lowest to the highest: Wyoming, mm. Vermont, Alaska, North Dakota, and South Dakota. We had Montana. So had Montana too. Um, so a lot Vermont. of people, a lot of people had Montana, which was interesting. Um, and Montana. Good job, Carl. You had the, the states right. Let's see oh. over here. You know, I knew yeah. Juneau was not the most populated state <laughs> yeah. city in Alaska, oh, and yeah. I. And, and you then, guys and then didn't the even have. Substitute. So the cities, the most populous um, city in Wyoming is Cheyenne. Rapid City. We, we, so we and, that. Um, with Casper number two. Um, Vermont, as I said, is Burlington. Burlington. They make all and the jackets there. Yeah, and and it's got about a little more than double the next highest population uh, city in Vermont. Is that Ola- what Burlington Co. Factory is? Yep, from I believe Burlington, I believe Vermont. So. Yeah. I, believe I think so. So, so the most Burlington in Iowa, I know. The most populous um, city in Alaska is Anchorage. The yep. next most populous city in in Alaska is Fairbanks, with wow, big like a big <gasps> difference. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah, wow. way way different. Um, North Dakota, the most populous city is Fargo, 
I know uh, how people got that. They have a movie named after it. That's why. That's right. That's they all. Every move there after that. Well, every as move. I said in my room, I watched that movie and it didn't look very populated to me. <laughs> that they was because it was lost, and it was because lost. it was minus twenty nine <laughs> degrees all the time. Nobody was outside. It was we even mentioned Vermont. We didn't yeah, know was, what state to knock out. Yeah, and then uh, South Dakota is next with Sioux Falls. As the most populous, do we do Sioux Falls or Sioux City? We changed it to Sioux Falls. Yeah, but we got it. We didn't even get the others. I don't think we prepare. So, so so just for fun, the next next states. I didn't do the cities, but the next states are in order of you know lowest, smallest to largest Mm -hmm. is Delaware, Montana, Rhode Island, Maine, and New Hampshire, and they all have between. Almost a million to a million and a th- and um, a third, one point three. Shouldn't million have. People. They shouldn't have two senators. <laughs> no, you're yeah. right. No, none of these yeah. states. Yeah. None of them should. It's totally, yeah. Ridiculous. Yeah, ridiculous. We had that. Jane was Jane was upset about that in our group. I don't blame her. So this is <laughs> most. This is based on 2021. So. Oh, that's why. No, that's why. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, Montana 2022, 2023. Oh, it's killed off a lot of these. We got a 10 now. They're like, <laughs> they lost like a thousand anti vaxxers. <laughs> yeah. I, I think South Dakota lost the most. They lost population. them. Oh, they lost population. them in the cemetery. I kind of yeah. wondered if that's what happened cemetery. in Vermont with Essex and South Burlington. <laughs> I know where they're at. They, we know where anyway. they're at. Well, we lost a hundred thousand people, right? How many? I know a million people in the United States from COVID. Yeah, where did they all live? I wonder. South Dakota. (laughs) (laughs) A lot of them did. We lost 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 the most most percentage of their population. Yeah, I'm wondering. Does anybody have that number? Anybody found anything? If you find it, let me know. I'd be curious. It seems morbid. I think I thought about that, but I think it's probably Florida. Lost them well, at the beginning, you know, we were all involved. it was like New York City it lost a ton. New of York people. was hit really hard. New York was yeah. hit really yeah. hard. Del- yeah. But as a percentage of the They're population, Delaware, Montana, Maine. yeah. If anybody ever comes up with that number or finds a study or something, send it to me. I'd like to be interested in that. Okay, so let's go with the scores. What do you guys think? I like these tough ones. You know what? I'm really still thinking about it. I would be interested in a way of finding a way of scoring the game where on the bonus, there was a way of losing points. Uh. (laughs) I really think that would be interesting and make the whole game a lot more different where we would be like, because the person who's in the lead, sometimes they get in the lead, they're so ahead. Well, you could make it like Final Jeopardy where you can bet. You could bet? You you could gamble like, we're going to Yeah, like on Jeopardy. On Jeopardy. So if we we get a seven, we can match a seven. You know what I mean? Everything we get right, we can. So we're gonna we're gonna bet eight. So if we score eight, now we get sixteen. No, we're gonna bet, you know, uh-huh. we're gonna bet five. Susan, if we get five. We'll score yes, 10. yes, Bob. Just because like it's that. your game doesn't mean you can't be outvoted. <laughs> <laughs> well, the well, thing okay. is too is you don't want to make a villain of the people that are doing the bonus category because they're gonna. You know, people are really well, mad at that. I know, but I'd like to see some shakeup whenever you've got somebody who's way ahead. I'd like it to be closer. Well, do the like bonus the round baseball first. baseball rules. So we have to make the game more exciting. <laughs> so as someone drama, who's we doing... Drama. We don't need... Yes, Lynn? As, as someone who's doing a category for the first time, is there something distinctively dis- different about the bonus round? Yeah, yes. it's always like the top 10 of something. Like 10 of, of 10 of That's something. What, I mean, I, I know that it appears different in some way. Yes, it's one question I mean, it's, with 10 answers instead of 10 questions with one answer. Okay. And then... Um, yeah, who is Lynn going to send her questions to? Who's not playing next week? What's that? Wow. We need somebody who's not Sterling. playing. Sterling. Sterling. He doesn't know how to do these. <laughs> send it to Darby. I may not be there. Um, probably won't be. Adrian? Yeah, that, that's, yeah, sorry. Okay. Yeah, but didn't you vent somebody out before and we, and we got mad at you? No, that wasn't me. That was uh, somebody. That was not that her. Was Rob. Was not me. <laughs> oh, you did it for me and you didn't like my answer. Or Richard. <laughs> you would be the most likely person who will yeah. not for sure be here next week so Lynn can get their email from them. Avi. Uh, me. 
You definitely are not going to be here next no, week. No, I'm not. No, no. If he's doing a category. I'm the one that's doing one of the categories. Uncle, Uncle Ron <laughs> says Avi. Okay. What about Rob? Is he still around? He'll be here next week. Okay. No, I, I, I can bet if you'd like. But I'd hate to have you not show up because you didn't well, think because you, you could sit out time. a round. You could just sit out that round. Like I did that one time. Or she <laughs> could be on my team. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys want to do? Avi. Well, is Avi busy? I hate well, to so ask. We, or we could just we we could just be graceful and and let them do it and be very kind to them and just give them helpful pointers after they do it of things we would have done different. I like that idea. Yeah, that that's our natural. We have natural. We have to be extra nice, <laughs> Glenn. I mean, that's what we did at the very beginning. Be and and, and people who are doing send the other somebody to stand next to Rob with a club. <laughs> <laughs> people Lynn, who are doing the, the other amazing, categories. Are the main thing, buttons. Lynn, is yes. that it's only one answer per question. Right. Not yeah. theories. And just yes. one answer per question. Okay, and, so there can be two. Okay. And avoid yeah. true false, keep multiple choice to a minimum. What and did you say, Carl? Oh, what did you say about question, true false? Try and avoid wrong. true false questions. Oh, yeah. Maybe okay. one of them, but keep it to a minimum. Yeah. And okay. the way Ron did it tonight, with uh, he said, name one of two. Yes. That's what we're looking for. So that you, you if there's more than one answer, you only have to name one. Yes. And the way he did it was, but he yeah, made us by adding to make it into ten. two questions. Yeah, make yeah. it into two questions. So what we what we want to avoid is we don't want you to say, like, um, there have been nine movies made by this director. Name all nine. Yeah, like or, or all the yes. seven dwarfs or something. Name all yeah, okay. seven dwarfs. Okay, and, okay. Uh, I, I okay. And so then I'm not emailing them to anybody, mm -mm. and I just want to confirm I do not have the bonus category. Correct. Correct. Okay. That's you do not have the bonus category. You have a okay. category category. A normal one. And we and have do to do all your one. research on Wikipedia and Chat GPT. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. And if you want to know, I already done. have the questions oh. generated from Chat GPT. <laughs> hey, Lynn. Well hey, you well know what? Done. That would be kind of interesting. What was generated by chat GTP? Except that it gets really long and kind yeah, of a, no, yeah. it's too it confusing. is a little bit of a cheat since you can generate it in five seconds instead of spending some time <laughs> right? up with questions. Are all the questions going to be about the chapters of the yeah. fake? <laughs> yeah, that's it. We'll, we'll do it on his better now read that Wikipedia, uh -huh. you guys. What was in chapter one? What was in chapter <laughs> two? What was in chapter? Oh my I think God. I just read the book okay. at this point. <laughs> I've got it right over here. Um. Leonard just the gave COVID. us a, a, a CDC um, COVID mortality by state. So I'm mm. going to just put that back in here so you guys can see. Oops. In case anybody else is interested in that. Gosh, there's so many. Oh, and I put, I put a, that little uh, blue thing I put up is a picture of Jamie Lee Curtis on Columbo. Oh. Oh, oh put that, click on that. That's what that is. Boy, we can yeah. find oh, anything wow. on the internet. It says Oklahoma, I can't open Alabama. it. Alabama. Somebody yeah, share it I, don't, I can't see it. But the picture? Yeah, it doesn't want to come up. It says I haven't oh, had permission. File. Okay. Oh. Yeah, it, you, it, you posted a file. There. Oh, there, there she is. Is. Wow. That looks, she doesn't look young. That looks exactly like her. That's like oh, come on. Did you see out. everything everywhere all at once? That doesn't no. look like her. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I that really really looks looks different did that. Did you see yeah. that win the Academy the Award for it? <laughs> the sausage fingers really, really added to her age. Though, so. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. That's wow. True. She, she, that is, that is Jamie Lee Curtis right there. Yeah, yes. it is. But nothing's aged since like 2000 for me. I mean, it's like, okay, so we got to get to these scores, you guys. Or we can just sit here okay. and all night. <clears throat> Columbus. Oh, oh, oh look at that. Oh. The box has it in gray. And look at the box has a white it's, top. It's like sky blue now. It's sky a different blue. Car. Yeah. Different See, I told Two you. Two different sky cars. Blue. The picture on the box cars, is not the same as the model. False advertising. This is ridiculous. <laughs> they just repainted all the time. How come he couldn't keep the damn thing clean, but it's three different colors? <laughs> they used it. They used it on the Dukes of Hazard once. <laughs> it, depends, it depends on the color of the dirt that he was driving through. 
Yeah. Okay, so there's the trivia answer. We don't have a color for that car. It is never red. <laughs> it's it's a, like the dog ring dog. It's the ring paint. The white yeah. balance problem. Well, just be glad I one of my questions wasn't what color was Columbo's car. What color? Nine and color. The bullet there. Yeah. yeah. Nine and ten. What kind and what color? Oh yeah, definitely not. Okay, so here we go with the screen sharing again. Here we go. Thank you for volunteering, then Lynn. Oh sure, sure. Volunteering, Lynn. Okay, you were going to get pushed in. Is anybody not done it? Because I need to start on them. <laughs> I'm just uh, thinking about that. Yeah, Ron's brother hasn't done one in a while. I think Alan. Hey, he hasn't done one since I joined. Has he ever done oh. one? Yeah, he yeah, did one on music. He, I, he, he, he passed them by. I the, think he uh, did one on the Blues Brothers movie, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, favorite movie. <laughs> okay, so let's go with our scores. He went on lighthouses. Okay, the Tooth Fairy <laughs> left a <laughs> musical lighthouses. The Tooth Fairy left uh, five million dollars under his pillow. God, that still makes me laugh. I am so happy. I don't care that the guy voted for Trump twice. He's got five million dollars in this asshole. Okay. I love that he voted he didn't for Trump because yeah, that it kind of wasn't funny. a liberal plot. Yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> what did I miss? What did I miss? What is this two fairy five million dollars? The the okay. The so my pillow guy. guy. The my pillow guy had a challenge and he had a big conference and the conference was something about here's all the code from China. I will give five million dollars to anybody who can prove that this is not. Um, the China corruption. Didn't influence the Something to do with the, the election. Corrupted China. election. And the guy right. proved it. So you had it. to show up at this conference to, to even compete. And you had to get like a little sticker and you had to be a coder. And you went into the special area and he gave you the special code. And and then uh, there's official rules and everything. It wasn't like something just anybody in the Internet. And this guy's the only one who who um, submitted it. And well, he's the only the one who submitted. He's a forensic he's scientist. He's the only one. He's a data, data scientist. See, Kyle, you could have done this. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, Kyle. Out. So the guy did it, and then and then they said, no, we're not giving you the money. He goes, but I did it. So he took him to court, and the, and the judges said, you got to give this guy $5 million. That's awesome. Good. And the guy yeah. was somebody who had voted for Trump twice, but, now, but he knew that wasn't right, and he yeah. knew it. That yeah. election wasn't. Wait a minute! Know, Somebody who voted for Trump twice could do coding and prove. <laughs> yes, actually, what the guy did is I think what? that he didn't even have to do much because the code he's looking at it was some kind of I don't know, Kyle. Do you know some kind of? They he claimed it was some kind of code where the numbers look like they were random, like catching or something. The guy expected somebody to uh, understand it to do probably it. Probably Benford's law then. He didn't know that wasn't what it was used today, but it could have been. But it was something, and the guy said, "That's not here. There's, no, it's not here." It was something that the guy didn't have to do anything, right? He wanted to see him, him being interviewed, which is where I saw it. Is the program that Chris Hayes does on MSNBC tonight okay. the first thing he does on that show, okay. and he interviews the guy who did it. Okay, okay. MSNBC Chris Hayes, check it out. Kyle, did you want to say something about that? No, I don't Why know you much lost about $5 it. I need to look in. Yeah, uh, I left it all we, on the we table. Were on, we were on track to be done by midnight. Yeah. Well, it is here. <laughs> well, you're an you're hour here. late then. You've got to be over here. And okay, where in the heck am I doing? I'm sharing screen. Uh, you guys quit distracting me. Your fault. I, you guys. <laughs> I just got to this one. The tooth fairy left him $5 million from my pillow. We had eight. And that's because we didn't listen to Leonard. We would have had more. Oh, <laughs> Leonard, you got to exert yourself a little bit there. Yeah, but he, he so changed shy. some of our answers and made them right. So. Okay. All right. Chat GPT doesn't know or care what it writes. If it's true, insert Trump joke here. Five. Hey, the team that I was on and Deborah's team is frantic feminist firecrackers. How do we do? Seven. Well done. Well done. Well done. Stop that count. Stop that count. <laughs> <laughs> joke never gets old, does it? <laughs> All right. 787.5 million reasons to be happy this week. Does somebody need me to explain this one to me? And then I have to distract myself. Nine. No, I get that. You guys oh, get this one. Nine. Well done. Oh, oh man. Oh. Look at that. What did, what did you get wrong? Oh. The city or the state? 
We just we couldn't come up with a city in Vermont. Vermont. Uh. But Carl had all the states like right away. He yeah, I kept saying people. Looked it, up. It, it, it made me really nervous because that was the first room I went to, and he was just like, <laughs> "This state, this state, this." Oh, okay. oh my God, that's so easy. Everybody's going to get ten. <laughs> okay, Fox News views fake views. They lose, and we're enthused. Ten. ten. Oh, oh, see, somebody got ten. Look at that score. Wanted to put Montana, but Bill was sure it was Vermont. Yeah. No. yeah well that's what we went back bill, and forth to i thought vermont no, was on yeah. the list but i didn't know who no, no, that, that was the it. argument we had to not get the pen i kept insisting bill, it was montana and that's bill what we had knew it was vermont and uh, i insisted it was vermont and not montana i was going yes. with i was going with delaware but then oh. i was told the how close delaware is to washington dc and there's so many people well, that well i didn't do a uh, um What's the smallest population? We did this once already. Of all the state capitals, and Vermont is the smallest. And then, oh, we did what have is, that. What is yeah. the largest state capital? You know what it is? Somebody got it in my group. Sacramento, Boston. No, no, not even close. One point five six million. One. Or New York eight. City. No, no New York City is not a capital. Oh, it's Phoenix. Oh, oh yeah. that's right. Yeah. Phoenix uh, has the most population of the state capital. Well, a lot of don't a lot of capitals start to be on the outskirts of yeah, a lot of population not anywhere near the biggest uh, city. Yeah, the they got to, they got to be state capital back when there was hardly anybody at all in the state, yeah. and and then a population center sprang up somewhere where there's actually you know a, yeah a Philadelphia is not the capital. A, it's definitely yeah. the biggest. The, Missouri state capital was intentionally chosen to be in the middle of the state, kind of equidistant between Kansas City and St. Louis. Hmm. Same with Australia, they they made Canberra designed well, it to be Pittsburgh yeah, and be, Philadelphia are bigger than Harrisburg. Yeah. And Albany was selected for New York because it wasn't New York. I mean, Carson City, really? <laughs> it's like, it's... Yeah. well, it was a gold rush yeah. down in Carson City. Silver, right. Silver rush or the silver rush. Sacramento, Sacramento silver California. Rush. California. Sacramento, <laughs> also. Same yeah. thing. Monterey yeah. was the capital for a while, just saying, you guys. It's That's like, right. It's California Constitution right. here, right That's down the street. Night. Sort night. of. Everybody. Night. Night. All right. So, okay. So, next night. week we have uh, Lynn, Rob, who will be um, back for vacation, Vincent, Peggy, and Kevin, as long as yeah. Rob doesn't come back with COVID or something. <laughs> yeah. next, well, he can still next, visit with please. us. <laughs> we'll just have to wear our masks. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Before everyone leaves, is anyone willing, if I put my phone number, to help me figure out how to print out a bunch of texts without having to take pictures of each individual? Oh, one? how would you do that? Texts on your phone? I, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll put out my text. number. I'll put There's my number. The only way case. I know to do it is to email them to yourself and print them out one by one. I but think there's a, a uh, there's there are there's some apps that will you have an iPhone? collect them all you, too. Yeah, you can view your your texts on a website. Yeah, that's what I can't figure out. I I uploaded to the iCloud and I thought they would all be there and they're not. My phone number is in there. If anyone's willing to help me, help her. I can't figure it out. And well, if I think of something, I don't know. I want to help. And I, I need it. Kind of phone do you have? For evidence. Yeah, she has phone? an old iPhone. I need it for evidence. It's an iPhone six. No, I, I don't speak evidence. I don't speak iPhone. Okay, well, my phone number's there if anybody wants to text or call me. Or you could, you could, you could call her and prank call her. <laughs> Ask her for refrigerators running. No. Put <laughs> Prince Albert in a can. <laughs> Let him out. <laughs> I used to do that. Oh my god, I was so awful. I, I felt so did. bad. We oh, called the guy across thing. the street from my neighbor, and we could see him. We said we're calling from the the, the electric electric company or whatever. And we said, could you go outside and look? <laughs> <laughs> His mom go outside. They're looking up there like this. So we're laughing, and I felt so awful because they were so just like we, we sent to a tow nice. truck. We sent a tow truck to my neighbor's house, and he started oh. yelling with the owner of the house. They were yelling at each other. We oh, that's not nice. Guys. You guys are mean. Oh. All right. Okay. So we I didn't was... have the internet back then. <laughs> no, we didn't have cat videos to entertain. The phone was the closest thing to entertainment. <laughs> All right, everybody. Now, how many texts do you have? A lot. 
Yeah, a lot. I need to print out like whole conversations for some evidence for something on Tuesday. And I, I can't, I can't do it with the screenshot thing. So why don't you I'll, try I'll, uh, go, uh, contacting Apple and asking them if they know of a way? Have you, there should be a way just like, Google, did you Google it? Oh, okay. I'll Google it. <laughs> no, I'm asking, did you try? Google? Try Bing. Yes. At, and it doesn't, ask chat GPT. It doesn't, make sense to me. I, it doesn't make sense. I would like a human being to talk to. Yeah. All right. right. If I can come uh, up with anything, I'll what send you a text. Paul, not a human being. Thanks, Paul. You got my <laughs> okay. number in the chat. Yeah. Thank you. Go to the nearest uh, Apple store. and. Uh, oh, that's good. They, they've got people in the back that will help you with it. That will look at stuff. me with contempt and say, what the hell are no, you doing with an iPhone no, because... 6? And we won't help you. <laughs> No, it's request anybody, all the time. If anybody is willing to help me who's here, yeah. I would appreciate it. I'll do you think they're out. intentionally making it hard to do this? It seems like something they should have done years ago. I know. And, I and, and we I know that everyone Apple. always does the, the right thing. When I Especially uploaded, Apple. I backed it up on the iCloud finally, and I then I went there and I thought, oh, it just has my pictures. It doesn't have any of the text on there. Well, they surprise. must do it for court doc. You know, if you're, you know. see them in courts, things they say, yeah. here's the text messages and it has little pictures and everything. Yeah. What I do is I get people to email them to me. In fact, there just today I had this lady emailing me some things. But can and, you send a whole conversation, Robin? Or do you no, have to you have to send, one? you have to send a screenshot. Oh, yeah. just, Pain in the that's air. what i keep reading it's that just says screenshots for everything i'm looking up yeah, yeah and then you're going to have the color problems and so it's going to be eat up your ink with your um Do you i have, guess you would make screenshots and just you could i don't think there's i don't print them. better more high yeah, I message it. enabled huh uh-huh huh <laughs> <laughs> what, what when you call? look at your when you look at your messages are the messages you sent in a green back background or a blue background. The messages I sent. Yeah. Are blue. Then that's iMessage. Well, and I think you can control if if your iCloud is set up, you can individually control what gets backed up there. So you okay. may not have your messages you, set to back have, up there. Right. You have You're confusing her. She's asking you to call her. Yeah, I didn't expect everyone to do it now. We're wrapping up and we've had a good time. But if anybody's willing to contact me, I turn off my voice. You can leave a voicemail for me uh, or something. Yeah, I don't know enough to actually get the last mile. Okay. Thank you. Good night, everybody. All right. Okay. Y'all's going to bed. Thank we all got to go to bed now. Good night, everybody. All right. Good night. Good night. Good night.